remember. Does that mean he's wrong? Yes. Oops. I guess I've said too much. <laughs> Don't you always? If the floor didn't rotate, then that means we need to think about the structure of the building again. Hey, ASMR. Bow down. Oh. Okay, I'll bow down to you, Sonia. Then how about Come this? With me. Somebody moved Nekomaru's body. While we were moving from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower? But we should have all been together during that time. What? Even if they tried to move the body inside the oh, tower. Oh, it's doing it again, isn't it? A little bit. It's okay. I don't think it's actually doing it on, like, the audio of the stream, so it should be fine. While we were moving, Monokuma quickly moved things around. Oh. But Nekomaru's body wasn't the only it. thing moved. Are you saying the broken pillar was moved too? If it is too heavy to carry, let them roll it. Let Just roll like if there is no bread, let them eat cake. I don't think those equate, Sonia. Oh, do I have to argue with her now? Yeah, How am I supposed to argue when I have a bone here? Did I say a bone here? There are many different ways. Oh, wait, I have to, I have to slice them. Oh, I have to do it this way. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. A decree it was Monokuma's doing. Oh, wait, I can't. I have to do... Mm -hmm. You have to slice through all of them first until we get to... Yeah, that. but we have to know what that last one is. Yeah, we don't know what it is yet, though, because it's not going to be on this one. There are this many part. different ways. You have to get through all of these to get to the next one. The so body and the could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved to the side by decree it was not a pillar doing. Why? It won't let me. There are many different ways. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was not a pillar doing. Like it won't let me. Weird. I uh, see I have to do one of those. No, you don't do that for that one. I think you do. No. You only do it for the yellow tape. There are many different ways. Yeah, that's really good. The body and the pillar could have been moved. Oh, I get a limited amount the of cuts. Could have been rolled. Oh, I didn't know that. I've never and seen that. could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was not a cut doing. Okay, I'm out of cuts. What? I've never seen that. I there are many different okay, ways. Okay, wait, these overlap in a minute. The body and the pillar could have been moved. Smart. The could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was not a cut doing. Now we just go to town. Ha <laughs> <Okay, there you laughs> ha! I'm the smartest gamer. Moving the body and the pillar in such a short time. That might be hard even for Monokuma, don't you think? It seems you have forgotten. Oh, you have to. Oh, fuck. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Including the, the pillar, the body, oh, everything at the crime scene. Wait, fuck. Did I do this? Nope, not that one. I don't remember how you did it, but I think it is the pillar back then, so. It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Wielding the power of the future the pillar, the body he could have moved it all. Oh, easy as power. Oh, everything. Like the pillar dragon. Because you're saying that but everything is moved. Damn it! Are you there are many different ways. Oh, wait. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. A decree it was not a pillar doing. Did it? And then we can look through that. Moving the body and the pillar in such a short time. Yeah. That might be hard even for Monokuma, don't you think? It seems you have Killer forgotten. Killer fragments, broken doorknob. But Monokuma is surprising wielding the power of the pillar, the body, everything at the crime scene. Oh, wait, fuck, what if we do that one? Oh, the oil on the planet, yeah. There we go. Yeah. I didn't know it all though, like, twice. Like, yeah, I didn't really either. Yeah. <laughs> and every time you pause, it's so long. It is possible. But it would have been impossible to move the oil on the floor. Huh? Huh? When the position of Nekomaru's body in the pillar changed, the oil surrounding his body moved too. Physically moving all of the oil like that is simply not possible, no matter how you look. No, that attitude. 
then it's impossible to think it was moved. Yes, Sonia. It's okay, my bimbo. I cannot believe I got so fired up. It's all right. A fired up Miss Sonia is awesome to watch. Uh, so what Keep really it in happens? your pants. Does that mean the two towers aren't the same building? I have it. Yeah. The drinking mm -hmm. game? Yeah. We can't be certain of that either. Hey, there's a big epic that's a year. On the tower floor okay. was a complete success. Yeah, yeah. the, the e-handbook e was still there. still there. That's why we thought the two towers were the same building. Well, damn, Epic says. If they're not, if they're the, not the same, same building, building or two different buildings, then what are they? That's the sub notice for the goal. Oh, oh no yeah, so idea. Epic, what we found out is... Here, wait, let's take this off of auto. So what we found out for those, how when you do the test goal, um, it, it does add it to the counter, right? But then when I stream next, like when I close and we open Streamlabs, it takes away whatever test subs I did. So see how it's back at 30? The other day we left it at 32. So it doesn't work. At least I can't believe it's been a year. <laughs> no, me neither. You don't have enough clues to solve that mystery. Oof, I know, it's annoying because I want resubs to count. Yeah. The only thing we can do is rely on the one person who has the clues. Isn't that Monokuma? Okay, go ahead and say the drinking okay. game. I'll okay, play. yeah. So, every time Nagito says hope or despair, every time Kazuchi flirts with Sonia, every time Shiaki gets sleepy, every time someone breaks the fourth wall, every time Kazuchi is wrong about something, and every time Akane talks about food. Is also, left? adding Sprite to that made it so much easier to drink. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Especially in Nagito. Nagito. Oh, yeah, I thought it would come to this. Because he knows how the... I knew so my turn was coming up. Fine. Tell yeah. you guys a big hint that can help you solve the secret of the funhouse. Give us the answer, not a friggin' hint. But then it wouldn't mean anything. I need you guys to do this class trial properly. It's also important for me because it will help me. I definitely thought I said later. Nope, we got trapped quickly, Epic. Determine. So why did Nagito say that all of a sudden? There you go, Epic. You're on the board. Did something happen? But how do we know your hint is any good? Epic, you never it's stay on the board very long. You're the only one who knows it. I have a good reason for that. <coughs> the reason I'm the only one who knows it is because I was the only one who performed the appropriate action. But not really, though, because somebody else had to complete the room to become the killer. Yeah. Formed the above reaction, he did the life ending game. Yeah. I see. Woo, I'm on the board. But he You're did about the final death, right? He knows a little more about Yeah, because he got yeah. the, he did all six you shots. Cleared the life oh, sorry, five. Five. And found something, didn't you? That's right. The hint is what I saw after I cleared it. Uh huh. In the depths of the final dead room. There was a hidden room surrounded by concrete. So do we actually get to learn here, or is he actually there, just gonna give us a hint? A small conspicuous window waiting, all by itself. From that window, I saw some very strange scenery. Strange scenery? Instead of explaining it, it might be faster Beginning of the month, that they just have a ghost. At an opportune time, I found a perfect camera in the final dead room. Oh, did he take that camera? Yep. I guess so. Nagito grinned creepily as we retrieved a small digital camera from his inner pocket. See? This is it. Is it? And as he said that, he showed us a peculiar picture. Let me explain it to you again. Forest? I took this picture on the first floor of Strawberry House. From the secret room within the Probably final dead the first floor. But don't you think it's weird? If the funhouse's structure is what you guys have been thinking, then there's lots of things that don't make sense in this picture, right? Also, there's the tower, but where's the other house? Yeah. Lots of things that shouldn't make then sense. Then let's in begin. Shall, Shall I, call I call it, it thinking time? Thinking Pop time. I'm gonna make some food. Have fun with that, Epic. Cassidy's eating my spaghettios. What well, doesn't make sense in this picture? The tower? I would say just that you built to the other house is probably the biggest thing you're going for, but I don't know. Oh, 
crime fiction that's what we've been thinking all along. Yeah. It's not an actor at all. Um, where would I click? The open area back there. Here! Oh. I want SpaghettiOs, then get SpaghettiOs, COVID the boys! The structure of the funhouse is what we thought it was. Grape house and strawberry house should link to the tower in the middle. Which means, if you're viewing the tower from the strawberry house, you should see grape house behind you. Hmm. But in this photo, I don't see anything behind the tower. No shadow, no shape, no grape house yeah, at all. Yeah, it's underneath. I see. And is that it? Can't leave the apartment that is the last day in isolation. <laughs> There's lots of things that don't make sense in this photo. Other contradictions. So, why is Alec calling? Hello? Hi! Sorry. I wanted to call her because there was lots of text, but I just had, like, super funny interactions with sales team on the way out. And I thought it was hilarious. I'm huh? streaming. You said this photo was taken from the hidden room inside. Are you saying don't say anything? Text me to what you're saying. Record like an audio message and send it to me and I'll listen to it after stream. Oh, that's fine. I'll forget about it. No, just, <laughs> I want to hear it. Just send no, it. I really don't. It was funny to me. Now I realize it's probably not going to be funny if I say it anyway. Just text it to me. I didn't want you just revealing anything on stream though. Bro, oh, you know, people, they funny and they say and blah 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 okay. whatever I'm going to them by. Text it to me. Look. Text it. I hate him. <laughs> Wait, how's Francis Fart Butt? We haven't been checking on Francis Fart Butt. Okay, he's doing okay. He has no despair. So this photo was taken from the hidden room inside the final. Oh, did you click That's on the how there's no place for? And that means yeah. it should have been taken from the first floor of Strawberry House. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. it should have been. Then. This is definitely strange. This photo doesn't look like it was taken from the first floor. The angle suggests it was taken from Sitting higher up. Sitting around the tops of trees. We can literally see more building underneath. That's right. Yeah. Good call. Good call. In summary, this is the truth contained in this photo. The first floor of Strawberry House is located in a high area. And Grape House is not behind the tower. It's not? Are you saying that Grape House is merely an illusion spell cast by Monokuma's cursed eye? From this point on, do your own thinking. Now that you've finally met the same requirements as me. If you guys are truly symbols of hope, you can easily solve a simple mystery like this. It might be possible for Hajime to solve it too. No, he's just a normal high school student. Hey! I, it says contains alcohol Despite the fact one that you don't have a real one talent. Alcohol. <laughs> one single alcohol. Hello, yes, officer. Don't worry, I've only had one alcohol. <laughs> Is he talking about that one time? Why, hello there, Hajime. And Nagito, why are you here? Because I showed up. Showed up. How did you even come here? You're referring to when you suddenly appeared on the second floor of Grape House, right? I'm asking you just to say. At the time, where do you think I came from? From your mom. Such sharp eyes. So you realize. Did he vent? Yes, so that's, pretty so that's pretty sus! That's pretty sus! Basically, it's like a hatch. Guys, it's the imposter! Everyone vote him, I saw him vent! What does it mean? What's that thing just now? Another hint figuring out the mystery behind the funhouse's structure. The reason Nagito appeared from the third floor is he fucking vented! Using the photo he took, I might be able to find the answer if I just think about it. Hangman's Gavin? I, I think so. He was doing the pose for it. Logic dive. Oh, this is the driving one, yeah. Yeah. The Saints Row of the Third. Or fourth. 
you're gonna love psych taxi in the guys. third game because it's kind of like this but you're actually driving and you hit people with the car hell yeah i jumped okay you jumped not a how do i jump like why what the fuck Oh my nope. gosh. Dodge, dodge. Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Wee. <laughs> Wee. Fuck. That what? did not give me enough time. <laughs> that was bullshit. I was looking away. Yeah, that, that one was, was my fault. fault. <laughs> that one was on me. I looked away. <laughs> the first one was not. Jeez. I was in there. No. Do they exist? Yes. Yes. Seems like a trick question. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I would ask such a. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. They're like spawning in late. Like, do you see that? I think it's doing it on purpose. It's bullshit. I'm not a gamer. Who do they think I am? Obviously, you weren't very good at Geometry Dash. <laughs> I only play wheel games. Uh, They're the same building. Yeah. It's kind of unfair that I can just stop. <laughs> like, the whole idea is that you're not supposed to stop. You're just supposed to go. But you can just go, like, nope, nope. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Well, nope. if you need time to read. Nope. Yeah, you're just going really nope. slowly. Nope. Nope. I don't want to But you're go. also timed, so. Mobile games aren't wheel games. The geometry Dash was, the geometry dash was on Xbox. Geometry Trash. Trash. <laughs> geometry Trash. Got him. I missed. Look at him throw it back. <laughs> Vertically. <laughs> Further proof consoles are inferior. I played Xbox my whole life. I've only been on PC for three, four years. Four years. I think I got it in 2017. Neom, good job! Yeah. Best! It's all coming together! It's all coming together! I still don't fucking know who got who did it, so. Got it. Was it's it a water girl? girl. I know the secret of the water girl. It's, it's a guy. It's a guy. There's a and lot of guys here, that doesn't make sense. What kind of answer will you give, I wonder? But it's the mechanic, Kazuichi. That's what you said your theory. The picture was Nagato took from Strong. It holds up! I didn't see Grape House at all. He would know about all the features. So where did Grape House go? There is only one possibility. And how Monokuma said that he would have been able to put him back together if the head wasn't disconnected like that. Only the mechanic would know. Right, that's true. Please? I know. I'm Which aware. means Please. Strawberry House and Grape House. That explains are in the same a lot. Hey! <laughs> floor. Epic just called me a bad gamer. Same building, different floors. But Alec has then been on PC his whole life, and I'm better at Overwatch than him. Different three story buildings. They're actually one six-story building? Got him. So the elevator's probably like really an elevator. Based on Nagito's picture, it's clear where Strawberry House is located. So why is one, like, rectangular and one is... You'll see. Ooh, Strawberry House is below? Is above. Above? I see! Because he went from the first floor of Strawberry House down to the third floor. Right? He vented. Yeah. That's where Strawberry House is located. Alec is just a special snowflake. Because of that, the photo taken from the first floor of Strawberry House was at a high angle. Altogether, this means the first floor of Strawberry House is also the fourth floor above Grape House. Oh snap! I've never expected that the two houses were connected vertically. But what about the shape of the building? The two houses were completely different shapes. SpongeBob lives in a pineapple that's circular, and he has square bedrooms. Just saying. Um, Strawberry House is four-sided, and Grape House is six-sided, right? It never occurred to us that they were the same building because it was structured with two different shapes. Very intuitive. Oh my god, a quadrilateral this. and a hexagon. <laughs> Overlaid a topic There's a meme related to this trial because of a line that'll come up in a second. And Is it a consent one? one? No. Uh, disregarding the tower. It's regarding Hajime not being able to do math. Two separate, distinct buildings. 
In order to conceal the unique design of the funhouse, Monokuma put us to sleep so we couldn't look at the outside of the building when he brought us to it. It happens. It's just super wasteful to design like that. The engineer is angry. <laughs> Don't you think a building full of so many surprises totally deserves to be Stop called it. a fun house? I'm gonna snap your neck. Do it. The building was really I think she's threatening to kill me all day, and I'm like, I'm literally Those begging you to. Those two houses exist on different floors in the same building. Constructing a building like that on your own without my knowledge? Oh, you poor thing, Monami. Is that the worst thing he's the done towers? the whole time? Are they arranged Literally shot a kid with like a bazooka, houses? but you know, how dare he build the building like that? Yeah, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower should have also been different floors inside the same building. It's just one really tall tower. What happens? The floor moves. It's like an elevator. Just like Strawberry House was on top of Grape House. Strawberry Tower was also on top of Grape Tower. However, if they're different floors within the same building, why was Nekomaru's body in both it's still places? In the elevator. Yeah, it's still, it's still like an Aww, elevator. Your precious hammies don't know, but it's so simple. All right then, I'll be the one who solves this mystery in a Because you did it. Please watch me, Miss Sonia. No, he's just like an engineer, and he kind of understands oh, that you know. Do what I elevator elevator go up and down. Oh, definitely make her watch me. Efficiency is number one. I'm People who design a building with different me. exterior and interior shapes are called architects and they're inferior beings. I've always heard like the memes about how engineers just fucking hate architects. Because architects design stupidly complicated buildings and then an engineer has to actually figure out how to build it and it never goes well. Uh, I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash. And hurry up, you dumbass. One of the bodies in one of the towers the first was thing. actually a dummy. You mean a fake body? Nekomaru died with a mechanical body. It should be possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. You're a magnificent Gundam! Uh, I have no fair! You totally stole my spotlight! So which one was the fake body? Shut up! Just pick one of them! They're impractical, inefficient, and illogical. Uh, I'm gonna solve song. this mystery in a flash! Well, hurry up, you dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy! So should we argue with that? fake body? Nekomaru died with a mechanical body. It should be possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. You're a magnificent Gundam! No fair! You totally stole my spotlight! So which one was the fake body? Shut up! Just pick one of them! Yeah, it would be the dummy one. So there's gotta be some reason you'd say that... That it couldn't have been a dummy. They prepared it in advance. I'm gonna solve this mystery of the broken doorknob then. And hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers... Was actually a dummy. Uh, I was just trying to. I'm gonna it's solve this mystery in a flash. And hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy. The chain would make any sense. The chain was. You mean a fake body? Nekomaru died with a mechanical body. I may end up needing to Google this. I'm gonna There's solve only this those two yellow plan. statements, right? And hurry up, dumbass! One of the bodies in one of the towers so I think it's this was one. actually a dummy. Chain, though, oh. But do we have to copy one of the you other statements? You mean a fake body? Maybe, maybe, maybe. What are the other died with a mechanical body. Oh, oh, it's speaking out. Why? Oh wait, it's. Is it, what is it? It's, I don't it know, should be possible to construct a dummy from spare parts. You're a magnificent Gundam! I think it might have just been not close to So maybe we copy so mechanical body the and then just put it on dummy? One of them. Right, yeah, I think that might be the... I'm gonna I'm solve this mystery in a flash! Same mechanical engineers, power on civil engineers. What is civil engineers do? It's like office buildings? Nekomaru died with a mechanical body. Fuck, fuck, I pressed the wrong button. 
no fair. You know, so like, bitch, well, shut up. Just pick one of them. Okay. I'm going to solve this. Solve this. And hurry up. Hurry up. One of the bodies one was actually a... You mean a fake? Negomaru died from a mechanical body. It should be possible to construct so a dummy. Mechanical body. body. We'll try no that fair. now. So which one? Well, shut up. Just pick one of them. I'm gonna solve this. And hurry up, dumbass. One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy. No. Okay. It was worth a shot. Buildings, utilities, and mode. I see. I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash. And hurry up, dummy. One of the bodies in one of the towers was actually a dummy. Fuck. I missed it. I'll go back. You mean a fake? Little Maru died. It should be possible. You're magnificent. No fair! So which one? Shut up! Just pick one of them! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of what they mean by strange feeling in the tower because I'm, I'm gonna solve this. And hurry up, yeah, dummy! One of the bodies in one of the tech was actually a dummy! That's what it what? There we go. It just no, missed. that's wrong! Kazuichi Neko Maru's body sometimes. wasn't a dummy. Bug, I took it to you. Kazuichi's account. Kazuichi, you proved yourself wrong. Remember? Good job. When we moved from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower, we thought the body had moved. And that's when you said... This is full of shit. I feel like roads would be a lot less complicated than buildings. Not just that, the parts that I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. Right up until that moment, you were disassembling oh, Nekomaru's body in Grape Tower. I thought he disassembled the body too. I forgot that he lost all the parts like that and they got moved. The killer couldn't have known how you'd take apart his body, so they couldn't have built a dummy. Yeah, I didn't thought about that because I forgot about that. Unless Kazuichi was the one who built the dummy, then it would be a different story. Got him. <laughs> Miss Sonia, that's a pretty harsh joke. You are joking, right? It's all right. Kazuichi is not the killer. If he was, he wouldn't have fixed the elevator or the button in Strawberry Hall. It'd be much more convenient for the killer if it stayed broken. That is disappointing. Yeah, because if you just had them locked out for the whole trial, it's half the people that can't investigate. However, exactly. Even if Nekomaru's body wasn't a dummy, it's meaningless if we don't have the important answer. I know what a static is, Epic. Was in both towers, even though it was supposed to be on different floors. Yeah, everyone knows anything moving is way more difficult than anything not moving. Move to a different floor? That's how an elevator works! A device like that? A device that moves things to different floors in the same building? Right? It's like Chiaki's just being like... Akane, hey guys, have any of you ever been in a fucking elevator? Yeah, Chalky's just like, I'm gonna talk dumb to you right now, Akane. What if you have that on the same floor? We'll move to a different floor. Hey guys, when you go to a hotel, how do you normally get to your rooms? Do you normally take the stairs, you know, all the way up to like the 20th floor? Or do, you, do you potentially use some kind of mechanical thing that might be moving you? Akane! <laughs> Chucky's just like, come on, guys, you got this. <laughs> How do you get to- I feel your... like I've seen that before. Hun, Hajime, you're Not a dumbass. Hajime's a dumbass. <laughs> hey, man, Gambit. This is just gonna be elevator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it should fit, I think, right? What if we just keep these for later? Yeah, it's elevator. <laughs> I need an E, please. Come on! Why every layer but what we need? Ah! Oh, no! Can I have an E? Thank you. Now I don't have my L. I really don't need an E anytime soon. Elevator. Yeah. I don't know how to spell. That's not really confusing because you didn't need an E anytime soon. I said I didn't need an O anytime soon. You said E. I meant O. I mean, that makes 
more sense then. That's what I thought you meant when you put it down. Because I think that's an L. Ah. There's like so many levels of confusion. I'm good at English too. I'm just not thinking about it right now. That's okay. And like spelling can be difficult. Ah. Fuck, I didn't want to do that. Day tour. Fuck! <laughs> Trying my best, I swear. Why am I keeping this L? I don't need another L. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, if you keep that all, you're gonna take an L. I don't need an E anytime soon. E is literally the next letter she needs. See? I meant an O. I meant an O. Thank you. At least somebody's backing me up. <laughs> to be fair, I made this way too strong, and this was literally like probably 60 to 70 percent vodka. So I'm already feeling it a bit. This tower itself. So we're vibing. You need something lighter to like sit on for a minute. One big elevator. Would you like another coke? Hey, it's, Which means oh, the tower was designed so that the whole room goes up and down like an elevator. So whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, uh -huh. it all leads to the same room, right? Does it? You meant, so oh, you should have said, oh, I meant to say, oh. One side or the other. <laughs> Epic, you're forgetting, you're forgetting an important fact that I am Sometimes stupid. It took a while for it to open. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. I see. We were basically How loud is it if I bonk my mic on my desk? Just like an Very loud. <laughs> it peaked Please it. Hold on. <laughs> if the inside of the whole tower ascends and descends <laughs> like an elevator. How about the microphone like this? Before when I just had my headset, we would have never been able to do this. Of a strawberry on the far back door when you enter from Grape Tower? But you didn't say, oh, Epic, you're gonna get banned. <laughs> And a picture of a grape on the far back door when you enter from Strawberry Town. Towers are connected the way that we thought they were. Fun. If the room just moves up and down like an elevator, go up and there's no reason the for the doors, doors to change. Is, like, chained off. No, um, the Plus, doors are after the incident, the, the far back door in Grape Tower had chains wrapped around it, right? If you ban me, I won't worry. Because you if it did that, then the door wouldn't have been able to open. When but when we entered Strawberry Tower, those chains were gone. It is, not like just that, but if I remember correctly, even the doorknob was broken off. A lot to think about. Yeah, that's why I said this one's confusing. You're gonna want to be a little less strict through it. Was that tower but I'm an alcoholic. When you see people and things, make sure you focus on the good parts instead of the bad. What? what John you said, remember say? the good in people. So, <laughs> As we're investigating a murder. And focus our attention on what hasn't. Why do we have to do that? That's fine. Come on. What does everything that hasn't changed have in common? A murder. The position of Nekmar's body. Yeah, the position of his body. And the pillar, yeah. Body, the pillar, and the oil. We've been talking about that stuff for a while now. Hit the alcohol harder, it will cancel out and clear your minds. We were all on the floor. Because the floor is what's moving, it's not the door. Ooh. I see! Is it safe to say that all the items on the floor didn't change? And? And? Why did the picture on the far back door change? If the you can figure that out, you'll have the answer. Safe doors because these are the closets that they're in anyway. The reason is because that elevator has something unique about it. There's something unique about the elevator. Only the floor moves. Yeah. I see. So that's it. The elevator was designed so only the floor moved. Are there five trials? Only the floor moved. So someone else is dying. I bet it's tits. <laughs> Which means the whole room wasn't an elevator, only the floor was. That's why we saw but different those door doors in each like tower. Sticking out. So how did the floor not hit the wall? Like Which the door means knobs? on the first floor of Grape Tower, so the door on the far back wall had a strawberry that. design. I have no clue on that one. Yeah, because I'm like, one of the doorknobs is broken, yes. And but it still doesn't floor, make sense, because they tower. never mentioned the a gap between the, the, the floor and the wall. There is a reason that the doorknob is broken that you'll figure out, though. But yeah, I have no idea. Then, where do the different floors lead? 
We've been over this, Akane. Tiny. You fucking bimbo. She's such I a bimbo. I want to say they lead outside, but they're probably oh, just for show. Oh, she means like the opposite side doors that are um, fake. Yeah. Just for show. Why was Why something was like that necessary? To confuse you on the structure. So we falsely believed that the doors were connected, the doors were connected to where their picture signified. It was actually very effective. Because of that, we totally misunderstood the building's structure. I don't get it. But I guess it means whoever designed this building had a totally twisted personality. It's Monokuma. Right. We've been over this. Don't blame this on me. Take responsibility for yourself. Then I'll take responsibility and gently caress you. <laughs> like, there's no way that's gonna happen. Stop with the tasteless jokes. <laughs> Stop, way, I can only get so horny. What does the chain back door in Grape Tower mean? <laughs> was oh my god. Probably wrapped there by the killer. I told Max I always hit on you when I'm drunk. <laughs> You hit on me and you hit on Sonia. <laughs> I turn gay when I'm drunk. You guys thought you couldn't enter there, right? You know, they always say you think you can't enter there, but surprisingly you can. Uh, <laughs> right? You didn't get it. <laughs> I know I get it. No, I definitely get it. Epic, if anyone needs to go to Horny Town, I'm mean, sorry, Horny, horny Jail, town? Horny Jail, <laughs> it's <the> you. <laughs> Epic would be the mayor of Horny Town. Who <laughs> 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 is? I remember I went through a phase where I was always point. saying, oh my golly so gosh, stay away from Strawberry Town. <laughs> It was like in like middle school. Anytime, oh, instead of saying "Oh my God," I always said "Oh my golly gosh!" <laughs> I love that. I'm not cringy at all, guys. Oh my God. The appearance of a body in the tower would contradict what we knew about the building. In that situation, yeah, but it, if we'd gone to Strawberry Tower, we'd have seen that contradiction firsthand. And using that as a clue, we might have discovered the truth. I mean, you right, I am the mayor. <laughs> the truth that the two houses and the two I towers you should are actually her to one stream. complete vertical building. I 100% am the mayor of Horny Town. The killer wanted to keep us from learning that. That's why they made us stay away from Strawberry Tower. They destroyed the button and wrapped a chain around the door just for that? I mean, they didn't want to get caught. Would it really have inconvenienced the killer if we learned the true structure of the building? It would have been a major inconvenience. The funny interaction Alec had was one of our big managers didn't know his name. That's it. That's it. After all. This funhouse is strongly connected to the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru. Uh-huh, do tell. Hold on. You're progressing much too quickly. So Nekomaru was killed with the ultimate weapon. There's still concerning the building structure. Kind of. Pain. It's the fine ultimate weapon already. is knowing the Gundam, please proceed. Knowledge is the most powerful you weapon you can have, that Cass. Strawberry house and grape house you know, I've got all of these super cars in my garage, right. but you want to know my most if valuable so, possession? How does the Knowledge. Elevator supposedly transport us from I remember when I was such a big, other. like, commercial on YouTube. Oh my god. I see, now that you mention it, I completely forgot about that matter. The elevator moves. Yes, that elevator moves vertically. Then, when your back is facing the elevator, both towers okay. should be on the same it's okay. side. It goes like but around the other does side. this reflect side. reality? Inside Great House, Great Hall is on your right when your back is to the elevator. And inside Strawberry See, House, I'm not stupid Strawberry enough to invite Abby to stream. I think it would be great. Which means the houses are on exact opposite sides of the tower. 
I love that her tits are blocked by our mean? webcam. Oh, that's so funny. What does this mean? Epic can't even see tits, McGee. I agree. What does this mean? What does this mean? Hey, rotates. Bananas. Rotate. <laughs> Have you seen that? I know I'm getting sidetracked and I'm not even that drunk yet, but it, this is very important to the lore. Bananas. Rotate. Okay, wait, I feel like we should really pull this up on stream. I oh feel Lord. like this is important for the storyline. I don't need digital tits McGee when I can see real tits McGee. It's this one. Okay, let's see. We gotta we gotta put this on display capture. We're gonna do some bananas rotate. <laughs> I don't think it's on the screen. Fuck, you right. It's the wrong one. We're gonna put this back. Wait, let's see. Why is it on the wrong screen? Ah, wrong one. What the heck? Why is it on the wrong display capture? I am pissed. Display one. There we go. It switched. We're gonna wait. We gotta restart. It's 25 seconds. So switch, they used to always do this display. But yeah, that's bananas rotate. <laughs> but in fact, when my back was facing the elevator in Grape House, the tower was on my right. A lot to reach ya. And when the ba my back was facing the elevator in Star Wars Tower, the tower was a la izquierda. <laughs> no a la derecha. <laughs> How can I break through this contradiction? And the fact that I called her Tits McGee is another reason why she'll never be on stream. <laughs> hmm, I don't remember any of their accounts. If the two houses are connected vertically. The elevator should move. I didn't mean to do that, I meant to do that. No, that, that. Yeah, you can look at their accounts. Oh, it's a con, eh? that was one of the options. Heard a rumbling noise. It's 5.30 yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the other option? Uh, Fugihiko's Susana Kamara walking from the first to Strawberry House I don't know if it's important She would not appreciate being called houses, If the contact elevator is behind you The towers are in opposite directions Which means your reasoning It's clearly contradictory What's with this iron curtain of teamwork? Look at his face, he looks like he's from Flapjack. So Gunnar and Sonya have matching arguments. It sounds like it makes sense, but... Is that really correct? If the two houses are connected vertically... The elevator should move. Vertically, not horizontally. However, right. at both houses, if the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. Which means your reason. Monokuma literally confirmed it was like, hey, yeah, these are oh, the temple encompass, yeah. Um but yeah, he literally said, Yeah, they are on top of the and we're still arguing about this. Yeah. Okay, we got this. But the two houses are the elevator should move vertically, not horizontally. However, at both houses. If the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. What? They are in opposite directions. She is right. That's a true statement. They aren't on the same side. So that's not what we're trying to say. Damn it! What was what Gundam was saying again? If the two houses are connected vertically, the elevator should move. It's definitely causing each account. Vertically, not horizontally. The elevator is moving However, vertically. However, at both houses, 
If the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. Which means your reasoning is clearly contradictory. What's with this iron curtain of teamwork? I think that would be it. It's just attack. Uh, Gundam's argument is so the vertically? The two houses are connected Wait. vertically. The elevator should move. Because the elevator has to move vertically. Vertically, not horizontally. No, that's wrong. It's, it's, it's kind of so. What it is is it's like this, and then it goes. The elevator wasn't just like moving that. vertically. Is, it, is how they show it. Hmm. Isn't that right, Kazuishi? Yeah, I'll just leave that on. Huh? So wait. So if the doors are just like on the wall and they're fake, when it's up and rotating, wouldn't they see the doors going away? Because no, the no, floor no, no, moves no, no, above not, the door. Not that. Not the um tower. No, I know, the but elevator. In general. Yeah. Is that not it? No, because what what it is is it's like a it's like this, and then the circle like goes like a dot. Hmm. Okay. I see. I see. Yeah. Come on. You use the elevator while you're holding that compass. I think I illustrate it for you. Right. Right. Excuse you. Ah, uh, that. Yeah. Johnny has his own life. He's trying his best. Okay, you leave my Johnny boy alone. Compass needle rotated 180 degrees. Rotated is the elevator in degrees. So that way they would go out the other. That way they would go out the same door as the one in there. So it'd be like that. It also rotated 180 degrees. It was probably following like the building's perimeter as it rotated to the other side. Which means the exit would be on the opposite side once you arrived at the other house, right? And thanks to that, the tower we saw on our right side when we arrived at Great House... still come in and go through the same door. ...appeared on our left side when we were at Strawberry House. An elevator that rotates while it moves. Is that even possible? It's like something from an amusement park. It's almost like you're in an amusement park. Yeah. Well, a fun house is guess. an amusement park attraction, you know. And since the building doesn't really need to be structurally practical, it makes for some structurally practical. Epic's biggest complaint. Structurally practical. You say I'm inhuman, but I'm just a bear. So I was never human to begin with. Except you are because you're human controlling you. Lowly humans. I mean, so we're really done with the secret of the right? Okay. Then let's start talking about the important stuff. Yeah. You literally cannot what taste it. <laughs> Whatever that combination is, I like that. And <laughs> lemonade, <laughs> that one, or lemonade, UV blue, and then just some Sprite. I've only used uh, half the bottle. You huh. still don't no, know what the ultimate just, like, weapon is, is yet. I know, it's right? What I found at the Octagon, you know? Practicality, practicality of a what structure should be the number one consideration. Who needs practicality anymore? Oh, we like go. Octagon. I can't believe I have to explain that The Octagon is like where Nagita went. As long as you know what an octagon means, Solve this simple mystery easily. An octagon is an eight-sided figure. It's also where people fight. <laughs> oh, this is the, um, this is the meme. Um, I think it's four-sided. This is the meme of- Is it a square? Uh, yeah. I course. think it's just a square. This is the meme about him not knowing basic geometry. I I'd love for him to get it wrong. And like, I wish that like, if you got that one wrong, no matter what health, I wish that it would kill you instantly. For a substitute reserve for student. Damn! Uh, I'm like, I, I don't know. I feel like I learned that in elementary school. You know, maybe quite a while ago. What is a dodecahedron? So, so probably. I took AP math. <laughs> A place befitting of the name Octagon. So, he's in Strawberry House and he leaves through a door, but it, it's called the Octagon. So, and they're on top of the Hexagon, but like, it's part of Strawberry House, so. I would say like, look around this area outside of Strawberry House. Here! Okay. <laughs> Because it was a weird shape, remember? By yeah. In the depths of the final dead room. Why is, Why is that place the octagon? You know how the four-sided strawberry house is on top of the six-sided grape house? 
That's a lot of numbers. Yeah. If you cut a four-sided shape yeah. out of a six-sided one, you get eight edges. It becomes an eight-sided shape. Is. That's not a fucking octagon. <laughs> it's technically an octagon. It has eight sides. I hate polygonal figures. The true identity of the octagon is that secret room in the depths of the final dead room. In actuality, that place contained various weapons. Yeah, we could have gotten a dope ass fucking battle axe. Then the ultimate weapon was there too? That's a little different. I learned the true identity of the ultimate weapon at the octagon. Learn? The true identity of the ultimate weapon is the funhouse. Which means the killer used the building structure as their weapon and killed Nekomaru. It all starts to make sense. Like me, the killer probably realized the secret of the funhouse from the scene. And then thought of a way to kill Yo, the copy paste of the building are very structure. terrifying. The funhouse itself is the weapon. So they killed using the building structure? That's why the killer tried to keep us from learning the mystery of the building. More importantly, using the building itself as a weapon? Such a spectacular crime. <laughs> it truly deserves to be called the ultimate weapon. The funhouse is the true identity of the ultimate weapon. What does this mean? What did the killer use to murder Nekamaru? How did the killer use that? How did the killer use <laughs> And who is the killer who did that? Chastity, I know how to read. Sometimes. We're going for a commercial break. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> right after this word from our sponsors. Hi. Well, hello there. Thought of a bad... I thought of a new bad word to call on me. Look, I already told you. Please play this. Then let me say it right away. <laughs> Okay. You already used insults and slander. There's no way I'll get hurt by a mere word. That's what you think. Monami is a serious da fatty. Da fatly? That's more, much more straightforward than I expected. Da fatly, huh? Tisk, tisk, tisk. That's not it. That's not it at all. Bitch butts. Stupid, fat, and ugly. The perfect jet stream attack incorporating all three of these words would be. Stabby! Ta-da! Stabby! Huh? There's a fat hidden in there? Okay, everyone! All together now! Monami is a serious stupatly! Okay. <laughs> Thanks for that, Monokuma. I love it. I learned a new word today. Stabby! Hello! I hope your day is well. It's not. I'm trying to force myself to be more energetic, or else my mental state won't be able to keep up. You know, mine can't keep up either way. <sighs> my heart's thumping like crazy. You ain't got a heart. You're fucking I might mechanical. I'm gonna have a laid-back, so what attitude and go ahead with my energy. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Ah, but be careful that your batteries don't run out for various reasons. And just like I say each time, don't forget to save frequently. Your batteries run out. And don't forget to save frequently. I think we got two for breaking the fourth wall there. I, I never. Chastity always the makes sure itself to be that the your ultimate batteries weapon. Oh well, so let's just press on ahead. <laughs> oh no, really yeah, I'll, I'll make sure I keep those loaded. <laughs> That's not what's that's important. important. That's Don't worry, that won't be a problem. <laughs> Don't worry, I got plenty I of baggers. I'm on stairs. I got stairs on hand. Don't worry. Is it really okay to believe the building is a weapon? Nagito said. We can't let those batteries run out. That would just be There's detrimental. No like right. honestly, how do they even expect us to go on? I don't want to die either. I love this. What happened to the bastard that kept saying how much they didn't mind dying? He's right. There was a time when I thought I could become a stepping You just put it down. Also, Epic? You can't call me Stefatly? 
because that includes ugly and the other day on stream somebody called me a nine so just saying <laughs> he called me a hard nine too which means I love I'm that yeah because like they asked if these like, guys in Overwatch and they were like hey Irish potato what do you rate yourself on like a scale of like one to ten and I was like like a two and they're like no 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 you can't be that humble and I'm like well I'm streaming you could come check it out and they came over and one dude's like fuck that you ain't a two and I'm like okay what do you rate me and he's like you're like a hard nine and I was like okay. damn <laughs> I was like I'll roll with it right. <laughs> so then they all came and followed me <laughs> nice so um hard nine flaccid dead <laughs> I think I would have preferred to be called a flaccid ten, honestly. <laughs> flaccid ten. <laughs> I hate it. I hate, I hate that. the word flaccid I hate that in word. general. Yeah. Like <laughs> it's one of those words that irks me. <laughs> Does moist irk you? No, actually that one's fine. I don't like flaccid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, Jesse, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like squelch. Squelch? <laughs> <laughs> I hate the noise of a squelch. But I, I feel yeah. like the word doesn't bother me. I hate the me. word squelch. <laughs> Trying to think of a word that bothers me. I don't really know. <laughs> I know there's words that bother me. I yeah, can't I can't think of any right others, now. but that one's mm -hmm. one that comes to mind because it's very similar to moist. I hate the word panties. Like honestly, That's fair. like that always bothers me, and that was like a big thing in like iCarly or like one of those shows. Yeah. They like hated the word panties, and like honestly, I do too. I never I call can them that. that. I always just call them underwear. Yeah. <laughs> like I just hate it. It's just like weird. I feel like it's just too feminine for no reason. Cause I don't yeah. wear like sexy underwear. I wear right. like boy shorts. Yeah. So I'm like, I feel like they shouldn't be called panties. You know? That's I'm, like, so funny. Granny panties, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, in that case, that makes sense. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that is kind of a word. <laughs> Epic immediately says it. It's probably because flaccid is only used to refer to a penis. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's probably part of the reason I don't like it. Okay. Sincerely retract that remark. Retract? Retract? You know. This was a murder for the sake of hope. I'd happily sacrifice myself. <laughs> you say you such say falsehoods such are usually hidden. There is no myself. such thing as murder. Wait, for the it's sake not him. Yeah. Murder is simply murder. Simply <laughs> sacrificing <laughs> others for one's own desires. Even one as diabolical. You saw how much I had left in that bottle. Such mm -hmm. I had a lot left in that bottle. bottle. I put it's all fine. in the bottle. Let's just leave him alone and already. find out who killed Coach Nekomaru as fast as we can. I think it's a lot better. It's just so you know. Right. It's not like I'm getting hungry or anything. I'm not food, yeah. Uh, Akane, you are drooling waterfalls? Who cares if my boyfriend was murdered? I'm fucking hungry. It's like that time in softball. There was one time in softball where, like, I was playing second base and the ball went all the way up to the fence and so like the outfielder was running out to the fence to get it so you're mm -hmm. cut off yeah. and so you run like halfway and then that way they can throw it to you, you can throw it the other halfway. So I ran out and I ran almost all the way the fuck out because like she was fucking slow so I caught up to her almost. Right. She gave me the ball and I threw it all the way to fucking third base and my teammate on third base was like waiting to catch the ball but a girl was running at her at the same time so she stopped to look at the girl and got hit on the like fucking side of her head. Got such a bad concussion because I threw it hard. I'm a good yeah. thrower, so I threw it from like way out in the outfield all the way oh, out to third base, no. hit her right in the side of the head, and she literally had such a bad concussion. Like literally, like the paramedics were there and everything, and I was literally like sobbing my eyes out because I was so upset about it. But then like my mom went and got me a hot dog, and so I'm like sitting in the <laughs> dugout like sobbing my eyes out, eating a hot dog, and everyone's like looking at me. I'm like I was stress eating. <laughs> I was like so genuinely upset about it. My parents were like, oh, it's not your fault. She shouldn't have take the eye, taken her eye off the ball. And I'm like, but I still did. And I was like so upset. I'm just eating the hot dog. <laughs> I like always remember that. And I was in like the seventh grade. It was a long time ago. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. But I'm like, just like the fact that they all like, literally like, what if you saw me sitting there in the dugout, like on the little bench. And I'm just like sobbing uncontrollably, like literally right. making so much noise and still just eating a hot dog. Why don't we think about how they used it? Back to base while I play football. First scene, didn't you box somebody, Epic? It might be better if we clarify the cause of death first, don't you think? We ran out of soda. 
<laughs> Necromon was cause of That's death. That's your cause of death. That's my cause of death. Dude, they're out of Coke at my work. So I keep having to go and buy Dr. Peppers on my lunch. Oh my and like, God. someone's like, wow, you don't have a Coke today. Oh, fuck. I told you this is not possible. It wouldn't be cool to utilize glowing structure. Mm -hmm. No, but like, like I literally went and I bought two Dr. Peppers on my lunch today. And everyone's like, wow, you don't have a Coke. And I'm like, yeah, the fridge doesn't fucking have any. And like, right. everyone's like, you know, before you worked here, we never had to restock the Coke this much. <laughs> <laughs> Upstairs, we are allowed to take the cokes, but the right. technicians and the advisors, none of them are allowed to take the sodas. That's funny. Like, they can't go in that fridge at all. It's the customer fridge. Right. But, like, upstairs, we're allowed to. And, like, okay. at front desk, I was allowed to. So I'm always just fucking taking them. <laughs> so we run out a lot faster than usual That's now. <laughs> so what was Nekomaru's cause of death that also utilized the building structure? Um... Would it be the beaten with the blunt object? No. Cause the, well, because the pillar fell on him. Mm. The pillar didn't fall on him. Remember, there's pillar pieces under him. It's more like he fell on the pillar. So falling? Yeah. Oh. Let's see. That's it. I think he might have died from falling. Died from falling? I mean, think about it. If the fun house is secret, is that Epic, a girl has done that to me in, in softball before, too. Like, you have the, um, doorknob. And the killer made use of its height and top caused Nekomaru to die from falling. And then Nekomaru is down here on the bottom floor, tied up. Are you and saying they pushed him off? Where'd they, Where'd they push, push him off from? How did they push him out of the door without the elevator coming up? They, like, forced it open? What? What? Because if he fell... So, they tied him to the doorknob in the strawberry ta tower went down to the grape tower to get the door to open and then he fell the three stories and onto the pillar. Mm. Is what I'm, yeah. So, did they have to press the good night button to be able to do that? Because there's no way they would have been able to tie him up while he was still awake. I'm assuming so, yeah. Huh. That, that, I don't know yet. Don't just make things this is why the door not is broken off. Cause it like Where in that building like, would you even be able to push, push him off the door and off 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 wait and then yeah. yeah it might be possible in the tower you could push him off the fourth floor first. when the elevator is on the first floor but then you couldn't push him did you forget how the elevator functions when it's on the first floor the door on the fourth floor won't open <laughs> Saying he died from falling is truly incorrect. You should burn in the flames of hell. That's aggressive. But Let's take a step back. Right now. My gut is going crazy. Nekomaru died from falling. Where did the killers shove Nekomaru from? If I'm going to reach the truth behind this incident, I need to solve that mystery next. But oh, this is another argument, yep. Yeah. Okay. Good night, button. Broken door now. Broken door now. When the elevator is on the first floor, you can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Hmm. It'd be impossible to shove off the victim from up there. It is. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows more than I do. You gotta listen to everything, Destiny. I'm not a good listener. The elevator is on the first floor. You can't go through the door in the fourth floor. I was the first baseman at the time, Epic. That's where I'm supposed to see It would be impossible to shove off the victim from up there. Then, then, how about this? After locking Nekamaru inside the elevator, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor and made use of the drop. Yeah, she's right, though. Hold on. Did you forget the elevator has a sensor? As long as there's a moving object inside. Oh, the good night button would be the moving object. The other door won't open. But that you would be agreeing with him, so that's not Which means the elevator wouldn't have moved either. That must be the threshold of that elevator. <laughs> well, yeah, no, yeah, because the moving object, but he's not moving because the good night button. So yeah, good night button on the moving object. Okay, good night button on the When the elevator is on the first floor. You can also fast forward. You can't go through the door on the fourth. It'd be impossible to shove off the victim from. Then, how after locking the Camaro inside, the they moved the elevator from this? the fourth floor no, to the right. first floor and made use of the drop. Hold on. Did you forget the elevator has a sensor? As long as there's a moving object inside. There we go. Hey. No, that's wrong. 
Oh, did you wrong about something? It's always fucking wrong. That sensor should only work if something is moving. If Nekomaru wasn't moving inside, the elevator sensor wouldn't have detected anything. Hey, Addy, Hello. how you doing? We're doing it's good, how are you? I've had a bit too much alcohol to fast, so I'm a bit shut talkative. Down, and he enters sleep. Yeah, this is water. 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 This is some water. Chastity did noticed. watch me right. add water to you this water bottle. You poured like a tiny bit of water in there to fill it because he didn't have any more lemonade. So, <laughs> she watched me add water to this water bottle. Just saying, she she did admit it. She yeah, added extra water she didn't need to. I, yeah. <laughs> she gave out to me. I did add water. To the water bottle. Like that much. <laughs> no, cause like <laughs> too much alcohol too fast, but that's not like you at all. <laughs> Addy fucking calling me out on main. No, cause like so I had like a bit of vodka left. And like if I had done like my normal amount of vodka, there would have been like a weird, like tiny amount left. And so I wanted just to I was like, I'm just gonna fucking put all of it in. So that was like 65% of this water bottle is vodka. And then like, I was running out of, um... Lemonade. I was water's like, yeah, I was running out of lemonade. So I added lemonade, and then there was still like a gap. So like, from like here to like here, I added water. Chastity did watch me I add water. I did watch you add water, So yeah. there is water in the bottle. Just not just water. Just not just water. It's uh, UV blue and vodka, and then I've been periodically adding Sprite, right, because I made yeah. it way too strong, because I didn't want to leave the leftover vodka. But, um, it is water. I can vouch it doesn't taste like alcohol anymore. It is quite good. <laughs> I see. So that's how... <laughs> Even if they moved the elevator in that manner, Nekomaru yeah. would have just moved along with it. Tied to something. There would have been no drop up. for him to fall and die from. Yes. That's what I was about to explain. <laughs> you only used water to fill a gap. I'll take what I can get. You mean, I mean, technically the lemonade had water in it too. That's how you make the lemonade. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Big brain. There's a lot of sugar in that, though. Shocky seems to have an idea of the way that could be. Oh, fuck. There is quite a lot of sugar in my lemonade. So, would this be the broken doorknob? Yes. Most likely. Probably. I would think so. Or the wire. One of the two. If you arrange it a certain way, it probably is the wire. You can cause the drop within the elevator. So, you're yeah, telling us right. all uh, to think about the arrangement, right? That arrangement is. The hammer is suspicious. No. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? Look at the oil on the floor. Those are all agree, though. The doorknob on the floor, it seems to The doorknob on the floor. Yeah, I agree with him. Right? Oh, there we go. I agree with consent! Woo! That's important, Chas. Yes. We need consent. <laughs> Always get consent in your arguments. Marks on it? That might have been where it got scraped by the wire. <laughs> We love the consent. Is that the I same wire that, that was consent. tied around the consent. <laughs> the tip of that wire was tied into a loop. <laughs> if the elevator moved while well, that loop part hung from the doorknob. We oh. love consent, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. You like would have been suspended in midair. Yeah, and then he would have dropped. That's right. He was suspended in midair. And then... Huh? How long does the good night time not come out for you? Oh. Tied the tip of the wire into the wire. Oh, my homies love consent. Hell yeah, we love consent on this channel. <laughs> With that, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor of Great Tower. Oh, they hung him by his leg? I mean, it was tied around his leg like that, yeah. That's his right. leg was broken off. He was so oh, yeah, it was. So was his well head, though. Hung. I mean, that was from him. Like, you better not finish that sentence. <laughs> Thanks, Monami. He was so well hung, Chastity. <laughs> you I'm wouldn't sure understand. I'm trying to make him doing that, they created a drop so Nikamaru could fall to his death. <laughs> <laughs> Too easy. Oh, Kazuhi, she's not be wrong. Uh, <laughs> Addy loves that he was well hung. 
There's no way you can make him fall and die with just that. We Thank love God. a well hung man. What? If Nekomaru is suspended in midair like that, then how do you get him to fall? His fucking he fat ass. He was too he dummy thick chest. He doesn't actually fall. <laughs> the clap of his, his ass, ass cheeks. <laughs> Uh, I hate these ones. Broken doorknob. Broken doorknob. All my lovies love well consent. How would they make him fall? No. There's no one in the tower to push up. There's no way they could do that. I'm out of cut. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wall. Why press A? Oh, but A. How would they make him fall? There's okay, no I gotta conserve my cuts. That's such bullshit. No I know. Yeah, yeah. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wire, but uh, how would they make him fall? There's no one there in the tower go. to push him off. There's no way they could do that. I can't back down. Oh, what? Fuck! What button is that? I'm on a controller. <laughs> Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him up. There's no way they could do that. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, advance! Doesn't mean someone had to push him off. Because you actually hit all of them. It's possible that he fell on his own. What? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? If he was sleeping, there's no way he could do that to himself. Now's the time, but in that case. The alarm. You still won't be able to explain the drop. Maybe he woke up and then he wasn't in sleep mode and then he freaked Damn out it. and was like, really, really, really fell. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a walk, how would they make him fall? There was like a radio. There's no one in the tower to push him. There's no way they could do that. There was a, was a radio or something. Yeah, it it, we went back to heading back. Yeah. It's possible that he fell on his own. What? Nekomaru fell? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? Yeah. If he was sleeping, there's no, no way no, he could get to himself. A, a radio Now's the time if you want to take back that sleep mode, but yeah. in that case, you still won't be able to explain the drop. Moving the elevator with Nekomaru inside is just impossible. End that of story. That would be my guess. I, I'm really not sure. If not, I can oh, I'm trying to figure out the killer. If I use that evidence, wait, 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 what am I using? What am I using? Wow, terrible of dealing with the Overwatch because I don't play on a controller! What? Nekomaru fell on his own? The Nekomaru should have still been in sleep. If he was sleeping, there's no way he could though. do that yeah, to himself. Right. We did that. <laughs> Now's the time, but in that case, you still won't be able to explain the drop. So clock's all in time. We're gonna Nekomaru go back. Fuck. Damn it! Even if they suspended Nekomaru from... How would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him up. There's no way they could do that. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't Don't you mean, mean terrible in general? Off. Epic, what the fuck? It's possible that he fell on his own. So this. Nekomaru fell on his Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? Oh, oh, I, I thought words. we did fucking too. Not a good gamer. Nekomaru woke up while he was suspended upside down in midair. What are you saying? Like, like we're not even shooting an hour. Yeah, we'll probably able to finish this and He has an alarm inside his body. As long as it was armed, oh, he would have deactivated his sleep mode. Which Someone means the killer set the alarm it's before not me, they well, suspended it's fair. I appreciate your role here, Epic. If you woke up from an alarm and realized you were hanging upside down and had no clue why. When do you wake? I'm not sure. I think they close. <laughs> If something like that happened to you, you would start panicking a lot, right? right? You drink water while me and I drink, but I drink more water today than you do here. Moving, I drink some water today. Did exactly that. Little bit. <laughs> uh, that's arguable. I did drink. Yeah, no, no, no. In order to make it no, 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 not this. Like, I drink a little bit at work because there was no coat. I talk all day. I need to. I need to cool down my throat. And I had spicy chicken tacos. I didn't like that. They were spicy to me. The wire was hung on the tip of the doorknob so it would easily Someone slip else off. was hung too. In actuality, the scrape marks caused by the wire were near the tip of the doorknob, right? 
But Nekomaru didn't fall because the wire came off. Right? This man's thirsty. Epic thirsty for many things. He wants that job, that dolphin fucking world, pussy jelly. He must have struggled <laughs> much more than expected, which caused the doorknob to break off. Was that unexpected for the killer too? Well, that's probably it. If they knew it'd leave behind evidence like that, they would have at least tried to do something to cover it up. Makes male dolphins ejaculate repeatedly. Huh? But it's like, like dolphin pussy jelly does that, and so there's been memes of making it into like Smucker's jelly. Ew! Oh my god, I hate that. <laughs> But cloudy, 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 cloudy. Oh, am I? Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. Here it comes. The incredible strength of one million horsepower. <laughs> Epic knows about the dolphin pussy jelly. <laughs> but I know what she's talking about. Yeah, as well as just saying. <laughs> but wait, isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. Oh, we've seen that before, never mind. Yeah, if that's really what it was, then that's the clue Nekomaru left for us to find. I see. So that's, that's how Nekomaru fell to his death. You finally, you finally understand, understand now? now? Yeah. No. It appears it's just as Miss Sonia said. I'm just a pest. Oh. No, I'm not just a pest. I'm a total <laughs> fucking <laughs> pig. Isn't that yeah, kind of. Sonia? If I'm a fucking pig, you can say so! No, I believe you gave your all. So we need to look into kinks. Oh yeah. I think Kazuichi <laughs> might, might have the tiniest hint of a degradation yeah. kink. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> hey, My friend and I joke about Sonya pegging him. <laughs> Dude, fucking Kazuichi would 100% be paying. Right? <laughs> we always joke about it. <sighs> wait, wait. But hey, look, Dustin, I got a lot of views to catch up on. I'm allowed to be the mayor of Pointy Town. <laughs> like, you know the one song that's just like every inch of you is perfect from the bottom to the top? So we I cosplay Sun and he cosplays Kazuichi, and we did like a little thing where you, like you point to like. <laughs> I think you can see where this is going. <laughs> Yeah, the one inch. <laughs> we need to look into kinks. <laughs> he was still hanging upside down. Woo-wee, what has happened here? Yeah. <laughs> of course, you know that too. Right? Whoa, 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 wait. What is that title? Oh, what is that title? Let's see. <laughs> wait, when your hydro homie does it again. Addy, no! Louise! <laughs> Addy, speaking of the mantle's clip master, yeah, now that Epic doesn't clip anything. <laughs> doesn't mean Nekamara crashed straight into the floor. He could have fallen on to, say, a pillar? He collided with the pillar. Collided out of his eyes is an option! <laughs> I mean, that happens. Give <laughs> a nice, refreshing drink. Oh, I love it. It's not like he just crashed into the floor. Cola came out of his eyes. So <laughs> Epic, I can definitely put you on blast, but I'm nicer than that. Remember this kindness. See, I told you the pillar was the weapon. My gut was totally right. I mean, I kind of in a sense. Well, the pillar it wasn't the yeah, weapon. It wasn't, it's, not it's not even clear, clear if the killer intended that, or if it was just a coincidence. At this point, just threatening the potential black <laughs> to the killer. Then what about the alarm? 
It happens, okay? I'm positive you said the I'm alarm was set for 7.30 You didn't take off that fire alarm? Like, out from there. No, I, I just saw it on the floor and it's I was like, still how? just on the floor. I don't know, I can't even reach up there. I have no idea where it came from and I can't reach to put it back, so. <laughs> yeah, so our fire alarm currently for upstairs is currently just on the floor yeah, outside Max of our asked me about it and I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, no, so I saw it, like, so, like, I saw it the morning after we came back from Oregon. It was just sitting on the ground. Right. And I was like, oh, maybe with, like, the smoke, maybe it was setting off the alarm. And maybe Chastity took it down. And then Max texts me about it. And he's like, why is the fire alarm on the floor? And I'm like, I thought yeah, Chastity took it down. And I was like, I have no idea. What are you yeah, talking about? He's like, I asked Chastity. She didn't do it. I'm like, who the fuck? So, like, did the fire alarm yeah, just fall like, out? I, I don't know, because I saw it on the floor, like, that morning. And I was like, what the fuck? So the fire, our fire alarm just fucking fell out of the, the fucking ceiling. Don't people disabling the smoke alarm? Oh, yes, that's smart. No, we didn't do no, it. No, it, we didn't it touch it. It just fell out, I guess, because none of us did it. Yeah, he's above on the ceiling in front of yeah. my door, and I have no idea how it got down it's because I can't reach floor. that. <laughs> it's still on the goddamn floor. And I can't reach to put it back either. <laughs> it was the drunken ghost. <laughs> no, but, like, literally, no, so, like, when I came home from Oregon, like, Max and I didn't drink at all. We right. came home super late. We went straight to bed, and then I saw it in the morning when I was going to work, and I just left it, because I was, I just figured you took it out. No. And then, like, Max just asked me about it. Chastity said she didn't do it. Max didn't do it. I'm like, what the fuck? And yeah, so it's still I on the no floor. Idea. I was wondering about that. <laughs> it's literally I thought, maybe you, one of you guys messed with it. I wasn't sure. <laughs> It's so fucking funny though that like, I just looked at it and I was like so confused and I was like, I'll deal with that later. Just like the fact that it just like fell out of the ceiling is hilarious to me. Like I feel like a fire alarm should not fall out of the ceiling. Right. Like that's just me though. Super safe. Hold on, baby gangsta. <laughs> baby, baby gangsta. Oh, I love baby gangsta. Did you solve the alarm was set for 7 30 a.m.? You didn't check it yourself. Nekamaru's alarm was set for 7:30 a.m. Nah, that's They were all late for Monokuma. Addy likes your hairstyle. It's very pink. It's very pink. Mine's very mine faded fast. You just did it. I need to use my hair. It's not faded. I heard this guy apparently you can't get out, but I found out you know like two months after I dyed it. Max wants me to get Arctic Fox, and he wants to try to dye my hair. <laughs> okay. So I was like, I guess we'll see how I that like goes. Arctic Fox. They don't have the one? kind of bright blue that you're looking for, though. Yeah, he had this, like, one specific... Apparently, a customer came into his job, and they were telling him about, like, a specific shade of Arctic right. Fox, and the he wants me to try it. The one was the one I had in my hair that was yeah. kind of bright blue, but it was supposed to be teal. Yeah. So he wanted... I think he wanted... I don't remember what it was, I think he wanted me to try the turquoise. But I don't remember, but he had like a specific one he wanted me to try. Okay, yeah. And he I wants like to try. Fox. He really wants to be able to do my hair, which so I think cute. is hilarious because I'm like, I can't do I my can hair. I can teach him. Yeah. Like, I he... can do half your head, you can do the other half. Or exactly. He wants to learn how to like braid my hair and shit. And I'm just, I, I think it's so either, cute. Yeah. I, mean, I braid my hair and. Dude, I can't do shit. All I can I, do is a ponytail. Right? Like, doing this takes me, like, yeah. five tries in the morning. This is a half-up, half-down. I up, have to half literally down. teach myself how to do French braids in my hair. Dude, I'm just so <laughs> uncoordinated with hair, I can't. And my hair is, like, so thick that it just gets so bumpy, and I hate yeah. when there's bumps in my hair. Mm -hmm. So, like, it freaks me out. So, I'm like, right. he's just, I think it's so cute that he wants to try to learn how to do I my hair it. so much. I'm like, are you just going to be, like, French braiding my hair? And I think that's adorable. That's, oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> also, Destiny, wait. Let's see. Also, Destiny tried to put me on blast. Like, I didn't accidentally out myself when my roommate and his girlfriend went into my room during the tornado warning. And they saw the duffel bag. <laughs> and if we found Neko Maru's phone, it would have been the I think she's conducting a payday heist. Everyone missed Monokuma Tai Chi that morning. Here's yet another contradiction has been burned. How were you the able to discover Neko Maru died at 7 30 right. when you went to the tower at 7? That's what I want to know! Another mystery I don't understand. Seriously, it's just one after another. That's how the game is. But I can't choke up at a time like this. Just a little more and I'll be able to reach the truth. This should only be a clue for breaking through this contradiction. Payday is a great game. I've played it like twice. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's why it was the condoms with the duffel. It happens, Epic. It's good. <laughs> okay. They're saying is either wall clock or radio. We headed for Great Tower. One of the two. Before the radio clock's the one in him, right? The radio clock's the one. But the alarm inside Nekomaru's chest. 
was set for 7.30 a.m. Yeah, he's right. Uh -huh. Nekomaru so died because of that alarm, right? He didn't go at 7. This time of death and the time the body so was discovered. So would you go with the radio clock? I'm not One sure. One of those yeah. must be an illusion. Killer probably did some tampering. I'm certain they said. They probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's chest. No, they didn't because it's a radio clock. That's why. That's the idiot. one we got a click. Okay, so put radio clock against toast? Yeah, I think so, because the radio clock is supposed to be extremely accurate. We had it for quick before 7 a.m. But the alarm inside was set for 7. Nekomaru died this time of death and one of those must be. Killer probably did some, they probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's chest. Is that No, that's bad. Fuck, but, okay, wait, I fucked up, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. Okay, okay, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go. We had it for quick before 7 a.m. But the alarm inside was set for 7 time of death and one of those must be. Killer probably did some tampering. They probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's chest. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. No, the clock inside his chest was a radio clock, so it would have been impossible to mess with. So you're saying there's no way the killer could have tampered with the clock? Not that one. The other one. Maybe the clock Miss Sonia saw was the one that got tampered with. Exactly. The clock inside Grape House? No. I checked all the clocks inside the front house. Sent me selfies of me and her. Oh, that's what she I sent it to me, to too. So you really I was sitting there and I'm like, okay. Yeah, Epic has this like, girl he's been seeing. And like one time when they both got drunk, she sent me a picture of the both of them. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, I live on the other side of the continent. Is this supposed to be like a threat? Like... <laughs> So I was literally asking him, like, why? And he's just like, why not? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and because of that, I can confidently declare that all the clocks had the same time display. They were all changed. They were all no tampered. that the time was tampered with, then we must doubt that humans tested. It's only 7 It's human. Please believe me. We are not lying. Oh. maybe it's a misunderstanding. Oh, Sam. I'll crush you into dark. Look, drunk and I made play choices. Hey, I'm drunk right now. Ganya, Ganya was up with Super Sonia. He's trying his best. It's so cute. I should doubt the clock. It's not a mistake that something was done, but. Monica Matachi. It's gonna be something bad. What was it? Perhaps we've overlooked something. Maybe we're understanding, misunderstanding something. I think if I focus and think, I should be able to find the answer to that mystery. Hey, man's Gabby? Yep. No logic dive. Logic dive. It has to be something at the monochrome mm. attack. Mm. Mm. Let's fucking go, boys. Woo. Mm. Ooh. It's okay. I'm a good gamer, Chastity. Mm. Mm. That's not jump, isn't it? Die. Mm. I'm a pro gamer. Alright, Destiny. The time Destiny. in the building. So red, which is all there we do. I mean, obviously, we're talking about the time right now. Like. I'm the best. We're talking all about clocks. I know what clocks relate to. They relate to time, Cassie. Did you know? Do you know that clocks tell you the time? Really? I had no idea, personally. Do I have to jump? jump? What yeah. the fuck? Oh! It's okay, I'm a pro gamer. We have nothing to worry about. I- Excuse What? He <laughs> went right through the floor. What the fuck? What? No, you told- Okay, that, that was one was my fault. I was looking at you. last time, no, you totally were on it. I was what? on it. What the fuck was that <laughs> bullshit? Complete BS. I'm a pro gamer, and obviously the game was intimidated. Ready? Pro gamer. Okay, what that went through too. These hitboxes fucking suck. I'm just gonna wait till the end. Good idea. Nyom. Nyom. What did speedruns for this game look like? Oh! I don't know. I don't know if I've ever seen someone speedrun it. How do you speedrun basically a virtual novel? I don't think you can. You know, I mean, you can. You can speedrun anything. I mean, you can technically, but I don't think it's like, it really would make much sense to do. You know, you know. You'd have to click through the text super fast and stuff. 
Yeah. Yum. The building clocks. Yum. It's so confusing now that there's three. And like, I gotta like yeah. plan out where it's it really is trying to go. It gets more difficult as the trials go by. Yeah. What the fuck? I only have so much brain power, Chastity. Yum. Epic, I can't read your chat, it's too long and I'm, I can't look away long enough. I'll look over as soon okay, as I do this. Yes. Okay. In fact, it's felt weird about the fact that I've met most of her friends and she hasn't met any of mine. Like, I didn't even tell my roommates I was coming home that night and I was going to Athens. It's all it happens. Who needs to tell your roommates anything? Well, like half the time when me and Max fucking go and you just don't know where I'm we are. Like, okay, cool. You guys yeah, went out and did something. Yeah, none of the have the wrong time. <laughs> yeah, it's either all or nothing. Yeah, it's all or nothing. <laughs> I tell you way too much, yeah. or I don't tell you right? shit. Like, I was like, oh yeah, by the way, I went to a bar last night. Oh, wow. I was like, oh, I didn't all the clocks. <laughs> so even if you checked all the clocks inside the building, there's no Max way you'd have noticed it. It happens, you know. We either tell I each other too much or we don't tell each so other anything. Right? And I'm very building. bad at writing on the calendar. I know. <laughs> we literally have a whiteboard calendar in a kitchen. So I'm so bad at works. writing in my schedule. There's no way I would have noticed that. <laughs> this is truly fantastic. fantastic! Now's not the time to be pleased. More importantly, how much was the time off? Like two hours, I think you get all yeah. I never get any time off. I don't know. She's right. That's the main problem. Even though I was home until I sent out selfies. Can you clarify how much time was off after the killer messed with the clocks? I believe it's two hours because I think this is that the alarm is going off at 5 30. Yeah, because like they heard the crash at 7 30. Yeah. We heard the crash at 5 30, but it was 7 30. Yeah. Or was it Nekomaru's account? It might have been Nekomaru. No, Nekomaru's account was I that think he saw him walk Pico's. down. That's what I meant. Sorry. Let's see. Let's double check. But yeah, I think it's Pico's account. Because hers is 5.30 specifically. Oh, 5.30, okay, yeah. So I think it's hers. Three Hikos was that he saw Nekomaru go down alone. Oh, okay. So then yeah, we can only it. rely on Nekomaru's radio clock. The time of death. Which clearly 7.30 a.m. No, he's right. Fuck, the clocks were adjusted. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's the time in the build, then we can only rely on the time of death. Which clearly 7.30 a.m. The problem is, what time would 7.30 be? In our time. Right. Are there any clues that can be used to narrow that down? I love her little hoodie. If only I heard the sound when he fell. Is that? It would have been a great clue. Because the Connor's account was the crashing Or his scream. Uh, He's not the type to let out a scream. Ah. If only Nekomaru's alarm was loud enough. No. If the time in the building, then we can only rely on the time of death. It's clearly seven seconds in our time. Are there any clues that can be used to narrow that down? If only I heard the sound when he fell. Yeah. Agree with that. Consent with Sonia. Consent. Consent. Yeah. Consent. That's right. We should have heard the sound he made when he fell. Wasn't it that rumbling noise? Rumbling. Rumbling. I thought it was just an earthquake, so I went back to sleep. Was that the sound from when Nekomaru fell? Kept keeping sex well, with the girl. The huge <laughs> body fell from the fourth floor to the first, and the pillar fell it's okay, with. Okay, I don't tell Chatsu those details either. It's obvious we'd hear the impact sound. I mean, consent. Consent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was when we were gathered at the Strawberry House Lounge. Louise. Uh, I cannot so feel so any so. of my face. Oh, uh, well, I get it. That sound everyone heard? I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Huh? But I love it. You probably did. But that's about cocaine. I haven't done yeah. any of that. Well, you're a coke addict. I could not <laughs> sleep at all. I was awake Here, wait, all night with some hunger pills. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. What's it tastes so weird when I've been having alcohol. Anything. 
Yeah. If we use that rumbling sound as a reference, we might be able to figure out how much our time was off. I heard that sound probably around 5.30 in the morning. I'm so sad they didn't say probably. You can tell? I instantly woke up and left my room. And that's when I saw the clock in the lounge. I'm Jim. I'm Jim. Rumbling's over here is 5.30 a.m. Time is off is two hours. Hello? Math. I see. Nekomaru's alarm went off at 7.30. And if we heard the sound of his impact at 5.30, that means our time was off by two hours. <laughs> two hours? That much? We were starving pretty bad. There's no way we would have noticed. You can't buy me the exception piercing. Plus, the funhouse has no windows. And there weren't any Monokuma announcements either. <laughs> However, for what reason did the killer alter our no, perception of time? The reason is obvious. If I so they can lure out I just the really monster. So, okay, Chastity wouldn't want details of my sex life either. If you I messed know, with the clocks and used a specific thing, no, I've told her already too many details about too many to things alone, she don't want to know. Right? From there, the killer's plan was a splendid success. That's all it means. Oh, we're about to go. We have a health bar. Yeah. Besides messing with the time, the killer also used a specific thing. If they were trying to lure only Nekamaru, then that specific Monica thing is... Monica Tai Chi! I see! <laughs> That's it. The killer made use of the Monokuma Tai Chi activity in the morning. How did they use it? His head looks like we this were required to go to Great Tower every That's morning what? at 7. But if they mess with all the clocks inside the building, what would that do to us? We wouldn't be able to attend on time, but that wouldn't affect Nekomaru. <laughs> you cannot stop that power. <laughs> this radio clock had the exact time. That's right. <laughs> doing so, the killer was able to lure him to the tower by himself at the precise time. And when I witnessed Nekomaru early in the morning... So, he says he heard his talking about someone who shall not be named. I need to tell you the story real quick. I feel like I've told you, but I don't know if you remember Dude, I think this is fucking hilarious. That is too. hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I was telling one of my friends about that, not naming names. I didn't name names, but I was like, I remember one of my friends told me this one time, and I thought it was so funny. Yeah, I think it was that story yeah. too. Yeah, I didn't name names, but I was like, yeah, someone I know had told me once that blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> You got epic, okay? You gotta <laughs> use your resources. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I feel like I told you about it. I yeah, you told me. I don't remember if it was you who told me it or not, but uh, yeah. 5 a.m. Yeah. And if that time was also two hours off, it should have been 7 a.m. <laughs> uh, that's so but funny. That's pretty much it. <sighs> At that time, he was heading over to Monokuma Tai Chi, right on schedule. So he was the only one on time for Monokuma Tai Chi. Monica meant right. Said those words. <laughs> that and the killer text. Killer! He didn't even ask you yet. He was, yeah, he was on time and then the clock to everyone else was two hours off. So what's the hammer for? It's a yeah, um, red herring. But what they they got it from the ultimate wound, I guess yeah. the ultimate weapon wound. Mm -hmm. You said everyone. Including us, right? We Five thought we came to the tower on time. Trying to find the truth, it. it was way past the meeting time. See, but he didn't have to buy anything. Oh, he geez. used his resources. That's, well, how should I put it? Uh, what was it? You know, tripping over a foot or something like that. Are you talking about tripping over someone else's fault? Foot in the mouth? Wrong! Too bad! Liar! 
it's my favorite is her spikes where her hands are just out of the rope. Right? It's just like, mm. you it's like what the heck? Like this. You know, they're back at her. Just ignore the peanut gallery. <laughs> now that we've found out how the killer lured Nekomaru, the number of suspects has drastically decreased. How so? Huh? Hey, why would that decrease the number of suspects? Don't be a friggin' liar! You'll know I'm not lying when you listen to what Fuyuhiko is going to say next. Oh? What is Fuyuhiko going to say next? What is what Fuyuhiko going to say next? <laughs> I'm trying to remember what this part is. You witnessed Nekomaru going toward the tower. Did something else happen after that? The alarm clock went off, yeah. Are you talking about that alarm? So everyone who was there hanging out mm. couldn't have been involved. Alarm? A little while after I witnessed Nekomaru. The clock in the See, that's five dollars more than he spent. <laughs> Plus, it was just before that rumbling sound occurred. It was like him, Paul's that's it. And so oh, that's what it is. If so Nekomaru died okay. when the rumble happened, then whoever doesn't have an alibi at the time is the prime suspect. Really? Was there anyone who didn't have an alibi at that time? Yes, there is. Epic, you think you've had too much vodka? Do you realize how much I have hardy drinking and it's been like an hour and a half? Like, I've literally gone through half my water bottle and I had so much vodka left in my bottle when I drank this. Like, are you... <laughs> I've had so much Epic, you have no idea. Put that back down. I remember now. The sound was so loud I couldn't help bolting from my room. There was one There's guy, one guy who never left, left, left the lounge. We're both on the same floor. It's pretty weird that bastard never came out of his guest Who else is on the, in the building? They said that between the boys Which and the girls. Nagato, Kazuchi, and Fuyuhiko were in that room. Fell? Hajime was saying that the girls. So yeah. And it can't be any of the girls. So who's, who's the bastard? You're going to have to be able to guess it right now. Nagito. What other guys are there? No, Nagito, Kazuchi, and Fuyuhiko. Yeah, now you took Kazuchi and Fuyuhiko. I thought it was Kazuchi not, the whole time. Yeah, it's not him. Yeah, it's not it's him. It's not Hajime <clears throat> because he was staying in the girls' tower and none of the girls are it. What's the other guy? So Fuyuhiko? No. Now you took Fuyuhiko and um, Kazuchi. Gundam. Were there. Yeah. Gundam! No, it's not him. No, he wasn't there. Wasn't it? Crap. Was he not? Who was there then? Who was missing? I thought it was them three that were there. Maybe it was Kazuichi that wasn't there? I don't know. No. So no, yeah, I thought he was there. there. No, Fuyuhiko was the one who found the alarm in the first place, so Nagito? I could have sworn he was there. No, because he didn't come out of his room. But but like, wasn't I could have sworn it, but it's I can't you, remember you, who was right, there. Nagito? Epic, so Not my, I had, right. oh, I thought it took Nagito it off the bottle. wasn't there. So I had a big bottle of my vodka. It had probably that much left? A good bit, It was right? a good bit, yeah. It was you a good bit. a good amount in there. I was like, oh, you're pouring it all? I didn't want to leave the rest of it. So it was like a good chunk of vodka that we put in it. And so it was like a big bottle, like that big around, like that much vodka. Right? And then I did that with with the other shit. And I've already drank <coughs> up to like there ish. But I've been adding more liquid because I've been adding Sprite to it. So yeah. I've had like a lot of vodka at this point. It was just me, Gundam, I couldn't remember who was there. I was like, I know there's three guys. I knew Nagito didn't come out of his room, but you we know it's not him, I thought. Even it's though not the alarm was going I couldn't off remember like who crazy. it was. I knew there's three guys in the room, and I was like, it's either you Kazuichi or Gundam. I thought that wasn't there. So you revealed to me that it's Gundam. No, no I said it's either Kazuichi or Gundam that wasn't in the room, because I know that Fuyuhiko was there because he found the clock, but I thought Nagito was there because I know it's definitely not Nagito. I could have sworn he was there. If you don't hurry up and answer. You're also way smaller than me. I am. I weigh about 135 to 140 right now. That's my check epic. I could be small. 5'10, but shrinking. I am shrinking. <clears throat> my spine is degenerating. Not only did I not hear the alarm, I never even heard that rumbling sound. Is that you good, hon? He couldn't. 
You're definitely fucking lying. Didn't he have like the uh, nice However, yeah, I mean, that is awesome. Nice. Nice. It is obvious that I did not exactly. hear the alarm in Strawberry House. I would like to be. Who was the other one who had a soundproof wall? But I did not hear the uh, rumbling sound either. Gundam, I thought. He had the good one because he had like the lucky one. Everyone else heard it. Definitely had the good one. I thought it was Gundam. To be honest, it's not it's just them. Yeah, because Chuck the same goes for me too. Things. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So it has to do with that. I was in a pretty good sleep. room, but made it so there. I thought she that's why I couldn't it. hear it. It was one of the other dudes. But I don't remember who. I know who you could probably not hear it at all. He was like, yeah, I'm fine. I'll just go in the middle of the crappy room. Yeah. What does that mean? I'm just a heavyweight in general. Epic, that's because you have so much more muscle than me. I ain't got no fucking muscle. That's still either Gundam or Gundam. Think about what three of us who didn't hear a sound have in common. And I'm sure you'll you figure it out. I was, but then you were like, no. I was like, I'm pretty sure it was one of them too, but I didn't remember who was in there. But I didn't remember Gunda being in that room. Sonia and Chiaki. They were all in the fancy rooms. Fuck. I'm gonna hate this gambit. Uh, what is exactly the goal of the <laughs> Oh, it starts with a D. Cool. Deluxe. Those are deluxe rooms, yeah. But that's not room. Rooms. Oh, rooms. Plural. Too many letters going on. Oh, no, oh! I'm trying. Um, I'm trying. Need an S. Where's the S? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm the best gamer. I got it. The voice says, sending even more drunk texts to Abby. Epic. What have you sent her? Nagito, Sony, and Chiaki. Three of you were staying in deluxe rooms, right? If I recall, the deluxe rooms are. Look, you don't need to know what I said. I think I do, Epic. Send me screen caps right now. Yeah, it's just this kind of proof, yeah. The reason we could not hear the rumbling noise. That's right. It was because the That's deluxe appropriate. rooms That's have why superior I said sound insulation. Well, actually it's Snapchat that. appropriate for sure. Nice catch oh my God, I'm eh? Are you I'm using your ultimate, your ultimate reserve, reserve, reserve course talent? 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 That's fucking <gasps> rude. <laughs> you guys must understand <laughs> that, <laughs> alright? That's true identity Nekomaru's Dude, killer. I went to go see Max at his work the other day, like a week or two ago, like okay. for Oregon. Right? And like, I went to go in and see him, and I brought him an icy and everything, and this girl stops me. And she comes up to me, and she's like, are you going to this anime convention? And I'm like, no. And she's like, well, you really should. It's really cool. And I'm like, well, I don't really watch a lot of anime. Like, my roommate's been, like, showing me some, so I, like, told her, like, whatever, like, we've done, like, Hot Death Note and Pizza yeah. Diary and Danganronpa and everything. And she just goes on and talks to me for, like, 25 minutes about Danganronpa. And I'm like, I'm just here to see my boyfriend and bring him an icy, like, please. And she apparently fucking loves Nagito. So she was just going off about Nagito. Well, so now I have to meet her. Dude, I was just sitting there and I'm like, she's like going off about like, oh, Nagito has his reasons. It's fine. And I'm like, you don't ever have a reason to be an asshole. Like. <laughs> Oh, I want to meet her. That's so funny. I was, like, sitting there, and I'm, like, I'm literally here to see my boyfriend. And I finally was able to, like, walk away. And I was going and talking right. to Max, and she, like, came and followed me. And I'm, like, please let me have my time with my boyfriend. <laughs> but, yeah, no, 
family, she fucking loves Nagito. Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> and I'm like, like that was their first sentence to me. It's like, oh, are you going to this convention? And I'm like, no. I'm like, are you stereotyping me because I have blue hair? Maybe? I don't know, because I mean, I've been asked that by people who know that I watch anime. Yeah, so that's that makes like more different. Sense. I'm like, this was her first sentence. But I'm like, hi, welcome in. It was literally like, are you going to this anime convention? I'm like, uh, I guess it just gave off that vibe. I don't know. I'm like, do I look like an anime fan? <laughs> a lot of cosplayers. I don't know. Have died hair. Yeah, but, but still, even that, like a lot of just people have dyed hair that I don't. Know. I'm like, I could just dye my hair. I don't have to like anime. Maybe it's just because you look like a nerd. <laughs> it's just fucking funny. I'm like, I'm just trying to talk to Max. That's please. so funny. <laughs> yeah, I've got to tell you about that. Why does that lead to who the killer is? Why? Well, that fact just now is a very important clue, and a decisive factor in identifying the killer. A decisive factor? Yeah, whoever was out when they shouldn't have heard the alarm is the suspicious one. The killer among us. Among us? Among us? Among us? <laughs> Got profiled. I really did. Who else is in the deluxe rooms? Can we look at clues like that? No. No. I think there's Gundam. It, because Fade was already out in the hall, so either way, it wasn't him. So it's either Gundam or Kazuichi. One of them was in one of the deluxe rooms. You're the only one! Gundam! Fucking got him! Gundam? There's something I want to ask you. When the alarm rang at the Strawberry House Lounge, you rushed over there too, right? But he was in a dog room, so he shouldn't What's have heard it. What's wrong with that? If the bell of catastrophe rings throughout the night, it is the universe's providence to stop it. Why were you able to hear it? Hear what? I mean, you were also staying in a deluxe room, right? Fucking caught him red-handed. Nagito was staying in a deluxe room in the same house on the same floor, and he couldn't even hear it. So why were you able to hear that alarm? Where were you on the night of the third? Third of what? Third of what? There's only one question. possibility. Which third? You were in your room at the time. The answer might be different depending on which third you're talking That's about, Destiny. <laughs> You still went to the left. The third of tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's the third. Gundam. I will be at work. You have some sort of explanation. Not all night. Right? No, I closed. Gundam yeah, till 11.30. Yeah, then I have to try to get back home. Yeah, but you got a 30-minute gap. I have to get an Uber home. <laughs> After you saw Nick Amaro heading to the tower, you stayed you at the it? lounge for a while. Am I correct? Probably. <laughs> I made friends with some girls Until and other the Snapchats. That <laughs> bring, right? Cassie got game way more than Yeah, game. I got like four <laughs> girls Snapchats. Hell yeah! <laughs> the killer the third third. That is March third. Where are you March third? I don't know. I don't, I don't even remember what I did like last night. You want to get arrested? The alarm in his chest. Before we moved out, too. Yeah. We still needed to prepare the murder. Probably working. <laughs> Putting Nekamaru in sleep <sighs> and tying him up with the wire. That's me fucking interrogating in Jasmine. To it's important questions. Need to be waiting for Nekamaru. I house. can't be. You can't be missuspected. Which means when Hiko Nekamaru, because of all my weapons. Already at the tower. <laughs> I'm hanging out with them this weekend. <laughs> See, Chastity is neon colored. She's very recognizable in a we crowd. We were hanging out at the karaoke section and everything. See, but like, Me I- and my group of friends were saving them from a creep. <laughs> See, when you're neon colored, you're very easy to spot in a crowd epic. You're just blonde. You're not very easily recognizable in the crowd. I'm sorry, we can dye your hair pink. If you fly out here- Yes, we really do have game. <laughs> Epic, if you fly out here, we can dye your hair some neon color, and I can guarantee oh, yeah. you the girls will see you from a mile away. Just start going, Epic, just start going to bars. 
blonde on the bottom. You're kind of blondish. You're like a light brown blondish. But we just gotta put you in like a high vis vest. And then everyone will see you. You'll be like totally recognizable everywhere. Like, oh, there's the fucking dude in the high vis vest again. I'm like, maybe I should talk to him. You know, that's how you get it. <laughs> Epic's like kind of blonde though. Like, we're gonna pull up Epic's, Epic's Instagram for scientific reasons here. Cause I've got him on Instagram. Let's see. It's like kind of, it's like light, like light brown. See, it's like, especially in that picture, he kind of looks like, it's like brown. Right, okay. He's got pretty eyes, though. Look at his pretty eyes. That's like my eyes. natural hair color. Yeah, look how pretty his eyes are. Mm -hmm. I love pretty right? eyes. Right, I'm jealous. Brown. It's like a light brown, though. It's not like a dark brown. Yeah, that's like my natural hair See, color. Like, I describe it as like a light brown, dark blondish color. Yeah, so I'm like, he's like a light brown. Some pictures it looks darker. Like, that yeah, one like, looks darker. Yeah, like, when you see my roots, it looks all dark in comparison. Yeah, but like... Epic, your lacrosse photo and your graduation photo look blondish. Like, especially the graduation yeah, well, one. Like, pretty, that one looks pretty blonde. It's, yeah, it's kind of like mine brown. is where it's like a weird thing where it's like it's not quite light brown, not quite dark blonde. And either way, people are going to tell you you're wrong. His hair's so long in that one. That one's very dark. Yeah. But I don't know. My hair's like that, too. I love the ducks. Baby duck to do to do. I love it, Epic. I like that one for you. Thanks for the compliment on my eyes. I really, I do really like my eyes. Dude, I love pretty eyes. And I always say that, like, my type of guy is somebody with, like, blonde hair with, like, really pretty, like, blue or green eyes. All four of the guys I've ever dated have had dark brown hair with dark brown eyes. <laughs> I'm like, I've literally never dated anybody blue-eyed or brown, or fucking green-eyed. I'm like, but I'm right. always like, oh, yeah, man, no, my type is blonde hair, blue-eyed. And then I mean, like, I get it. I'm like, oh yeah, I love people with colored hair. None of the people I've dated had colored exactly. hair. Exactly. So I'm like, I think it's fucking hilarious because I'm like sitting there looking at Max and I'm like, Max has dark hair and dark eyes. <laughs> and then like, all three of my exes have dark hair and dark eyes. So what I hear is I'm your type. Yeah. Lando Norris is my type. Hey, wait, let's let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's Are you see. sure we're gonna get through this trial tonight? We're working on it. Let's see. Fuck. I love how it was a suggested search. <laughs> Where are good pictures of Landa's eyes? He's got really pretty, like, green eyes. Oh, he does have pretty eyes. Like, he, okay, well, these are all small pictures. You Let's can kind of see him in that one right there. That one? Then that one next to it. That one? Yeah, like, Landa's got really pretty eyes. Like, let's see. Like, fuck, my webcam's in the way. Fuck. Like, Lando, fuck. That's my sub goal. Fuck, that's my Lando's got really, really pretty little, like, green eyes. And he's, like, adorable. Like, look at his little green eyes. That's such cute little green eyes. That's, that's a small photo. But, like, you know, Lando Norris, love of my life. They look really dark there. But, like, they look so pretty and green. Love of my life. Look at him. Look at his little... Love of my life. Oh, my own picture of just his eye right there. Where? Down on the bottom corner. Oh, you right? Yeah, look at Lando's eye. Fuck, my camera's really good. See, look at Lando's got such pretty little green eyes. I love him. Here's the fuckboy haircut in the first photo. I don't know what the first photo I showed was, but probably. He's so adorable. Look at him, though. He's so cute. I love Lando. He's adorable. This is in Formula 3. And... No, Lando's the love of my life. He's adorable. He's such a cute little dork. Like, look at him in his little sweater with the college shirt under. Like, what a fucking dork. Oh, actual love of my life. Look at him. Apparently, it's Simp Hours. It is Simp Hours. I'm very drunk right now. <laughs> look at him in his little suit. He looks so awkward. It is the oh, love of my life. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes! He's got such pretty little green eyes! Okay, back to okay, Johnny Mom. Thank you. <laughs> Jasmine was trying to take the mouse from me. I was. <laughs> Fuck, I turned off my webcam. Turn that <laughs> on. Turn that on. Destiny is the biggest simp than me. Lando Norris is the love of my life. I do that, but with like anime characters, man. <laughs> See, at least my people. I are rarely weird. do that with real people. But I definitely don't do that with celebrities. <laughs> so I've only simped for a few people in real life. Yeah, I, I don't simp for a few people that often. I simped for Niall Horn of One Direction when I was like 12. Of course, everybody did. Everybody did. Love of my life at the time. 
Um, and then after that, I was a big simp for Call Me Kevin, who I'm still kind of a simp for. He's a YouTuber. He's an Irish lad. He's great. Fucking love Kevin. He was hit by a car. I was hit by a car. We relate on I've so many levels. I've also been hit by a car. Exactly. We relate on so many levels. And then Lando Norris is a given. Love of my life. He signed my poster. How could I not be in love with him? You know, he's my future husband. He just doesn't know it, Matt. There's yet. only, like, two I can think of, and that would be Halsey. And then I don't remember what the girl's name is, but the one girl who played the blonde girl in the Ghostbusters movie. I didn't watch the Ghostbusters movies. Either of them. Boy or girl. Yeah, it was that one blonde girl. I cannot remember her name. Let's Google it. Google it. Okay. Let's Google it. Um... I can't type right now. Fuck. Girl. Jennifer Victoria no, Runyon? No, that doesn't sound right. Maybe it's her, though. Her? Yeah, I don't know. This is who Chastity Sims for. That's Chastity Sim. Her? That was when I watched the movie, though, so, like, her? it's been a while. Yeah, her. She's got she's got the, gr the, 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 the gay girl haircut. Yeah. So Chastity's into it. <laughs> <laughs> this fit. And then Halsey. Halsey, but, I know. Halsey yeah. is in a duet with a song with that Max likes that I like, that I really like. Let's see. Um, Call Me Kevin. <laughs> That's Call Me Kevin, the other love of my life. What's his age? Aside from that, it's mostly anime characters, boys and girls. He is seven years older than me. <laughs> but Captain Sparkle's birthday is the day before no, mine. No, he's six years older than you. He was born in November 10th, 93. Oh, well, I was looking at 27. But like, he's 27, that's 93, why I was thinking. I was born in 2000. I threw right. myself in the face. Captain Sparkles. He was born in late 93, though. Well, Max was born in late 99. Captain Sparkles is even older than me, but his birthday's the day before mine. Mm. Oh, there's also some actors like in like a Chinese drama I watched that. Mm. But off topic. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. One of those guys is like fine though. I am all off topic. Let's see. I don't do that in general. The closest I've come would probably be what Destiny saw, where I couldn't shut up about how cute I thought Adam's face was. True. She does. SNL does this to you, is it a similar looking girl? Probably a similar looking girl. I don't fucking know, Epic. We're gonna in continue the trial. Family, the killer should have returned to their room before the alarm in the lounge went off. Uh-huh. And they were this supposed would be one to stay the in room. They weren't He's wearing planning a wig. to come out and go right. long hair. <laughs> He's wearing a wig because the it's character mean, had long hair. <laughs> the alarm or the rumbling sound. That's proving they were in the right. room. <laughs> Not food. Like what did that look like? That was so fucking the funny. Best case <laughs> would have been if those two in the lounge had gone to check the I just got very distracted. <laughs> After all, if they personally saw the killer sleeping in their room, I'm kind of getting gives the killer a stronger alibi. Unfortunately, they failed to secure <laughs> that alibi. <laughs> I was in the lounge. He was so in the, the lounge. He couldn't go back the to the room and ended up hearing the lounge's but alarm. He came out from there, which is where the stairs were not for. Yeah, but they weren't paying attention. Hey, what are you doing? This rock is it's louder than the supreme ruler of the netherworld bellowing for a sacrifice. Don't go making all that noise so suddenly. Why am I talking like Jingo? But why'd you come out? You should have hid till the excitement died down. If Gundam tried to hide, and if those two went to his room to check on him, he would have been found out. So he didn't think about it. But they didn't that would have been the check. worst possible outcome. That's why he couldn't just stay hidden. If those two had just checked the deluxe rooms as planned, that would have been ideal. It's so random that Gundam did it to me. How ironic. The moment that you he goes set foot in like the lounge, he just started having this huge crush doomed. on Sonya, and right. now he's like, fuck Sonya, I'm gonna kill Gunna. somebody and get out of here on my own. Please, can you at least say something? Answer me, please. Including myself. Do his my hamsters die too? Of destruction. I How many ears don't do remember. Huh? There's four of them. 
The answer is ten. They are ten That's years right. old. Oh! I possess oh, ten sad. ears. That means I have five times the hearing of a normal the human. Like, yeah! The soundproof system yes. here may as well not exist. Is that your argument? You bastards. Do you understand the situation you're in right now? No. Never do. Do not panic. The truth shall now commence. At the time, I left my room to go to the bathroom. By coincidence, I heard the alarm. That's right. There's a bathroom downstairs. The world is always so simple. Are you saying it was just a coincidence? Isn't that timing a little too perfect? And yet, I'm being suspected by all of you. It seems it was actually horrible timing on my part. I see. You're still holding out. Well, you don't have to admit it. We're going to decide who the killer is with the majority vote anyway. So, why don't we just go ahead and start voting? It's obvious that Gundam is the killer. Hold on a second. You know, Hajime, this class Don't be rude. This killing, it's merely the opening act. Hey! What do you mean the class trial is just the opening act? Perhaps I should say it's just a Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Farce. So boring, so stressful. I'm so painfully bored that I might develop stomach ulcers. Seriously. Let's just hurry up and finish this before I collapse from poor health. Nagito. I mean, that's me on a daily basis. Something definitely happened to you. Didn't it? The question is if Destiny can focus enough to finish this because she's definitely we're very easy to distract me now. Prove it, Epic! What distract me! Oh. Stop it, something? he's looking at my side. <laughs> I commented on it earlier, being like, are you sure we're gonna finish this tonight? And finish this opening act already. Ah, you said opening act again! Please hold on! We have yet to hear Gunner's rebuttal! No, you but want he's your boyfriend completely shut up. Innocent, huh? Perhaps he can't argue anymore. Kind of like in the first game. Gundam! <laughs> I was simply at a loss for words after I being dumbfounded by your pathetic assumption. Can't focus. I, can focus. I shall deny the very basis. Your assumption <laughs> anyway. has been wrong since the beginning. Get ready, you're gonna have to do a... Uh, since the beginning? Based on your assumption... I hung Nekomaru <laughs> on the fourth yeah. floor of the tower and made the floor descend to the first floor. From there, after returning to Strawberry House, I was present when the alarm at the went off. Correct. Although going to and fro is busy enough as it is, how would I be able to travel between both houses anyway? The fucking hatch that The contact elevator was broken. The vent. He says to the I have all the killer shit. tampered with the great house control panel, which shut down. I mean, there's the like ten characters left, isn't there? That is enough for two imposters. The stuff elevator should have been facing the great house side. If so, oh no, I would sure hate to be killed in a electrical one trying to do the wiring. For these yeah, reasons, eight characters it's an indisputable fact for... that the killer destroyed the elevator at Grape so. House. And what's wrong with that? If the elevator was broken at Grape House, he wouldn't be able to return to Strawberry House. However, I was already at Strawberry House. I was present when the alarm in the lounge started ringing. Hey, Nagito, you wanna help us out here? Which means your assumption is clearly wrong. Nagito! Are you serious? He, he just had a here, I thought it's already been decided. <laughs> Have you learned your lesson, pitiful humans? You cannot overcome this contradiction. That's wrong. When something is obviously wrong, wrong, that's when a contradiction is born. No, he just said an appearance. It's gonna be the thing. He said an appearance. He said an appearance. Nagito said an appearance. No. None of those. What's? No, that's not right. How are we gonna it. copy? What are the options? Yeah, we're gonna have to copy something. 
None of those seemed right. If you keep making Among Us references, I'll kill you. The game keeps making Among Us references. There's literally a traitor among us. Yeah, we're gonna have to probably copy something. The only means of travel between the two it's houses. It's not the only means of travel, so we're gonna be hitting that. For as sure. long as that elevator was broken, your assumption collapsed. We had a magic with the team. Plus, the elevator was broken at Grape House. Yeah, it was. If the killer cannot return to Strawberry House. Since I was at Strawberry House at that time, there's no question that the following crime is impossible. It would have been different if they had an accomplice. No, no accomplice. Or if there was a secret passage. Secret passage, right? Copy that. How much yeah. longer do you plan to let? Why don't we stop this already? Right, and then hit. But there's no, no other thing. way. That elevator. The only means of travel. As long as that elevator. Yeah, exactly. 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 Yeah
You could travel through multiple planes. Provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Your decaying illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? My favorite kind of photo of Even if the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes. Provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Your decaying illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? I can't back down! Oh. Button, button, button. What? Uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Even if the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes. Provided you use a Where spacious wormhole. Just... Is it possible to down here? Yeah, you can just Right. Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? I'm out of cuts. Damn it. But, okay, I gotta, like, conserve my Even if better. the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes, provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? I know, it's hard. I gotta, like... Even if the turbid box doesn't box. exist, you could travel through multiple planes, provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? The heck, it's so like Even size. if the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes. Provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? Okay, wait, I think I got it this time. Okay. Even if the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes. Provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? Nice. Okay. That time I got it. I put so much focus into that. Okay. The secret Ooh. passage was at Boss the octagon. Boss Nia Lithuania. Y'all don't know no anyone who can do that. Reasoning. Um, you I say know. the killer went to the octagon. Yeah, okay, um, don't the wire or is the hammer an option? If you don't want to drown, at least pray to the key which dwells in the light. Fuck. I gotta do that Damn one again. Even if the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes, provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? I can't back down! Proved the secret passage. Okay, exists. so why I think it's the wire the unless the hammer exists. The because where did he get the wire from? No the limits of your own reasoning. I think it's the wire then. Yeah. You say the killer went to the octagon? Yes. Don't okay. bark, you cur! If you don't want at least pray to oh, the key which it. dwells uh. in the light. Uh. Okay, so you're gonna want to hit that one, orange one. Okay. Know the limits of your own reasoning. It's you after the killer went to the octagon. octagon. Don't bark, you cur. Yeah, after that. If you don't want to drown in the maelstrom, allow me to cut yeah! through those words. Yeah, I got it. Uh, Teamwork. Woo! Where did it fucking come from? The hammer that looked like the weapon. Yeah, that's why I was like, gonna get a hammer. on the door in the tower. Those were all the items that weren't in Funhouse. But where in the Where did the killer exactly take where did you get them? Huh? The Octagon! The only place I can think of is the Octagon. Thank you, Nagito. There were various weapons and tools there. I'm pretty sure I saw stuff How you doing, like Alex? Wires, hammers, and chains, Alex is too. now playing Destiny 2.
Oh, you can see last time he wouldn't respond to me, so I sent him a poem. Just stop. This time it's Since just those stop. items were used in the crime. There's no doubt that the killer went to the Akira. I'm not kidding. If that's the case, they obviously know about the secret passage too, right? They got them. Exactly. It seems this is the end. Normally we'd end up listening to Hajime lecture us with a very long summary of the Do I not have to do the comic this time? But there's no reason to waste any more time on this opening act. I don't so like I'm going comments. to end this right now. Hey, what are you? First of all, no, just being a friend. I'm messing with all the clocks in the building. I think he's supposed to be a tried to lure mm. only Nekomaru. Maybe not. Maybe he thought he was just going to sum it up for you. Broken by that point. Thanks to that, Nekomaru wasn't able to go to Grape Tower, which was supposed to be the meetup like, point. You're so he tried going over to Strawberry Tower, student. just Jack like we did. You ain't even, even, even an ultimate, ultimate kid. Yeah, you're not even an ultimate. Let's get that. the fuck out of here. Time, I got this. Get out of my face. Like, maybe I had a crush on you, also, but you know, you're not an ultimate. But I liked you until I realized you were lower class. Basically! But surprise! Gundam I liked you until I realized you're not special. Oh, hold on. If Nekomaru didn't go to Strawberry Tower, we already solved the fleet, though. Done then? Their plan was a balancing act of uncertainties. But even if they failed, they probably like wouldn't have Alec McGee is still alive. Classism, kind of. They Ever since he found out I wasn't the next an ultimate, he's like, oh, fuck happened. you. Yeah, pretty much. He's like, oh, you don't have an plan. ultimate talent? <laughs> he's like, fuck you. you ain't shit, and kiddo. Without such a risky plan, I'm better than you because I have an ultimate talent. You don't. My ultimate talent comes out of my ass. It's just fucking lucky, student. I ain't gotta do shit. I'm still better than you. Because at least I'm not a reserve course student. You know. Their parents There's paid no for them to get into the head on with the robotic Nekomaru. So by pressing the good night button, he rendered Nekomaru powerless without fighting. <laughs> In the ultimate, I'm, ul I'm the ultimate, ultimate hater. You, what did you just say? The ultimate hater? That I did it battle? But Alec Tits What's McGee is an that? ultimate, so you're not an ultimate Don't hater. You love Tits McGee. Yeah, she's the ultimate gymnast. Don't mess with me! I cannot ignore those words! Is that so? Why are you angry all of a sudden? You fools! Do not understand! You don't understand at all! I cut you your knee, Chassie. That's After all easy. this time, you, you still don't understand my face anything earlier. at all! I don't understand anything. It's so warm. What does that mean? <laughs> you are too. <laughs> I get very warm when I drink. Thanks, Maybe I'm just no, my favorite, my favorite video is when However, Max and I were in Mammoth with all of his friends. And, like, yet. I was already sunburned from sitting in the snow all day, from, like, snow, snow burn. Um, and then, like, we've gone back and we're doing a drinking game. I was beet red. I was, like, the reddest I've ever been in my life. And they were trying to get me to drink Pedialyte, and I didn't want to drink the Pedialyte. So you hit it. So I fucking hit it behind the pillow. No, but, like, I, have I shown you the video? Yeah. Like, it's literally, like, beet red. It's, it's so bad. <laughs> This to me is the ultimate cannot. toxic player. <laughs> me touching Bob go to horny jail. What do you intend to do? <laughs> it's obvious. I'm going to destroy, destroy your illusory no, no, assumptions. Are you saying you still have more? You still have room to argue? <laughs> My little banana. My, my little banana. You said I pressed banana. banana. My banana. My banana is only for Max to see. Okay. Button was on the back of Nekubaru's neck. To press it, I have to get behind. <laughs> it's not easy to get the drop on Coach Nekomaru. It's not easy to get the it's drop on Coach Nekomaru. It helps if you have four fucking it. hamsters on your side. It helps if you have a bazooka. Truly. No, it literally is the answer. So easily I wish I was going to say Yeah. It was just a mere illusion. That's <laughs> his banana. You want to set me up as the killer. That is information I will not disclose at this time. your own human limitations. That's wrong, man. You're the one who's wrong. <laughs> Such a wonderful line. However, I cannot say that I am satisfied. Listen well. I, I hope you just you two tips for making someone his... admit their defeat. First, you must crush them with your own overwhelming power. 
And yeah, as yeah, for it the helps other, you, uh, you it must helps provide it. a reason uh, that will persuade uh, that human. Alec, I ain't got none of those. You have not. I have more of those. Either. Yeah, chastity has got more titties than me, and I don't have much titties. And she ain't got much, but she got more than me. I ain't got no fucking titties. Then, just as you requested, I will provide an argument that'll leave you no choice but to be persuaded. This is the comic book. Oh, panic talk actually. Oh, is this the video? Yeah, the, 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 the uh, I won't bite you. For the Tanaka and Empire. Wither. Crush as David prophesies. I won't bite you. For the Tanaka Empire. Wither. Crush as David prophesies. Show me the cadaver. You didn't know that. I won't bite you. For the Tanaka Empire! With him! I'm having 20 minutes a minute, apparently. Crush as David prophesies! I won't bite you! So it's like one every... For the Tanaka Empire! With him! Crush as David prophesies! For the Tanaka Empire! I won't bite you! For the Tanaka Empire! With him! Crush that David prophesied! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! I was on beat, I was trying to die, yeah. Crush that David prophesied! Show me the Tanaka Empire! away, I'm fucked. It's Nekobaru's The four dark Do you really think I can get behind him so easily? Yeah, four dark... Fuck, I fucked up. I fucked the four dark guys. Fuck! It doesn't hamsters. give you. It doesn't give you the fucking. I think it's just the Y B A X thing. Right. We've definitely done it before. I think it's just the Y A B A X. It's Nekobaru's back. The the really dark Davis. This is the end. His hamsters. This is so off. I'm trying my I know, best. Like, I was literally like. Topping it out for her. I'm neck. not a good rhythmer, okay? I'm a good rhythmer. I'm a visual person. I'm not a good rhythmer, so I have to see it. Hamsters, you keep with you. I was trying to put it in your face oh. for you. We did it, okay? That's all that matters. Seriously, Matt? saying he used his <laughs> hamsters to press the button on the back of Nekomaru's yes. neck. You know, you use what you got. Of course, that'd be impossible for a normal hamster, but it would have been possible. The poor for Dark Davis of destruction. He is the ultimate bridge. We saw that with our very own act. Right? Did I send you that TikTok? Yeah. Emissary of evil, in accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Pierce through Supernova Silver Fox Sandy! Did you? Ah, it pressed the button. Truly, this is the Skyline Lamination Art of the Demon Mouse. Wahahaha, <laughs> soon the door of destiny shall open. You don't door. open my doors. My doors are for one person only. <laughs> now that you mention it, after Ibuki was killed in the music venue... There's someone who's supposed to be the ultimate breeder, he doesn't seem to get many hoes. He's fucking got Sonya! Sonya fucking loves oh, him! Oh yeah! One of Gundam's hamsters Yo, would take damn. the damn wallpaper from the baton lighting, right? You can control his hamsters. Hey, with your friends and their exceptionally smart brains, it must have been possible. None of my friends have exceptionally smart brains. To secretly get one of behind Megamaru and press the button on the back of his neck. I see you. Alec is my friend. <laughs> Apparently you don't have an exceptionally smart brain either. <laughs> Nothing happened. It was off camera, so it didn't happen. <laughs> she just went like Not and knocked your water myself. bottle over. You but it didn't spill anything. How splendid my subordinates are. <laughs> <laughs> I have no recourse but to admit it. Admit it? Did you say you admit it? It appears I've now. obtained a uh, one-way ticket to <laughs> hell. <laughs> no, you didn't. Then you must trample me underfoot and I only need to get one hoe to do probably heard it, if anything. You saw you go, they heard I... Like, <laughs> you cannot live in peace without <laughs> sacrifice anywhere. Right. I mean, no, I didn't, because I didn't now, do it, but... Trample my sight is seriously trampled. Trample it, it as though it were mere trash it's on like the, the fire side alarm. of the road. <laughs> Pull the curtain strings I of this worthless performance with your own two hands. 
But do I have three hands? Closing argument. I have to do the comic book. I told you. What are the options? What? This is a huge hammer. Hamster's test it goes right there. Oh. Right. Um, what other options? Good job. He wrapped his. Uh, that's already that? on there. That's, that's already on there. It's not one of them. Um, the hammer gets put down? It'd be nice. If, wait, it'd be nice if Pooch wanted to stop being fucky. What'd you do? That? I think he could say no. No, maybe not. I know he puts it down somewhere, but I don't know if that's me. That one? No. That might be right. That looks right. I woke up at. Yes. I think the hammer pinning down might go right. No, not there. Um, there, yeah. Yeah! Okay. Um, um, go back over to the elevator thing and have him break the elevator right there. This one? Yeah. Yeah, Justin's um, doing this. this. No. What, what's that option right there? Hamster and murder. <laughs> that's not it, but that's funny. Ah. Uh, that like that way probably is. No, wait, the tying does not go somewhere. Does not go here. Tying the loops to the doorknob. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm smart. I know things. Oh, hamster and murder is already on there. Damn it. Okay. What about the clock? I feel like the clock set the alarm to 5:30. So that would be back over that way more. And he said it. Oh no, I guess we wouldn't have said it after because then we woken up. So this one. No, right uh, there. But he's already awake in there. That way more. This one. No, um, right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, go back that way. Let's see. What are the options down here? I feel like food like you can't see should be close to here because he saw nothing over yeah, I think it would probably be that one. Yeah. Okay. No, not yet. No, keep going over that one more. Um, what's that one? The alarm clock started going off. A con, I heard it maybe? No, 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 that makes sense. That one more. Um, the doorknob came off. That way. Oh, okay. No, oh, we already got those. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, that's that one. This one? Because they all came in? Yeah. Because he was just sitting there, everyone yes. came in. Tricks the killer prepared before they committed the crime. First, they destroyed the contact elevator. They destroyed this they separated the Naruto and time. the others in Strawberry House from our group in Grape House. They fucked up the control panel, baby. Next, they lured Nekomaru out by himself by turning back all the clocks in the funhouse by two hours. Secure an alibi. I know I went to the strawberry house last night. Jesse can't hear it, and you guys can't. All I heard was I bet my name. Alarm I never said I bet. Or it sounded like that. I heard my name. I did say your name. Yeah, I was like, I know I heard my name. <laughs> the killer went to Strawberry <laughs> Tower with the necessary tools in hand. I can't. We hope. They obtained these can't tools. Can't hear it well, but we can hear it. Which you can <laughs> enter once you clear the final death. Guys, Jesse has pink hair. Like what a fucking nerd. This has pink hair. The killer discovered the secret of the funhouse faster than anybody issues. else. 
Me too. That's More like I can't process Strawberry words when I can hear them for half a second. The same I catch that. <laughs> I said Chastity has pink hair. What a fucking nerd who has pink hair. On the morning of the incident, Nekomaru woke up and headed over to Great Tower for a specific reason. <laughs> yeah, that little old came for him, like. <laughs> no, so the other day when that guy hey, came in. Who was at the lounge by coincidence? Witness Nekomaru. When that guy called me a nine, it was funny because he came into my chat asking for me to do ASMR. So I got all close to him. I even fucking whisper like I don't know how to do it. It's more like what the fuck is this? And I was just whispering into the microphone, and they were like, "Ooh." <laughs> oh, what if I hit it with my mic? With my Apparently, people like the mouth sounds. I really hate the mouth sounds. I hate ASMR so much. According to who you think goes to the you're back on auto. But by that, the killer had already done it. Don't do that, listen. She's got great hair. An actuality. Yuhiko witnessed Nekomaru at 7 a.m. <laughs> That's also the same time on a Kumatachi. Nekomaru went to Great Tower to participate in that. That's pretty. Look at this However, foot. because the contact <laughs> elevator was broken, <laughs> Nekomaru yeah. was unable to go to Great Tower. So, so he decided to try going to Strawberry Tower. I know. I'm Nekomaru, poor soul. He was so sweet to everyone. But the killer was and waiting was for like, him there. Um... With the power of Jump. hamsters, they were able to press the, the power of the, on the back of Nekomaru's neck. The power of the hamsters. My poor, my poor Dark Davis is forced him to enter sleep. I love it. Rendering Shh. him Kapad. From there, the killer began preparing to use the ultimate weapon. First, they set the alarm in Nekomaru's chest to 7.30 a.m. so he'd wake up. Then they tied him up with a metal wire, tied the tip of the wire into a loop, and hung it on the doorknob. I love the news. Snap! Snap. <laughs> After leaving Bloody Strawberry Tower, the killer then destroyed the door button to Strawberry Hall. They did this to keep us from entering Strawberry Tower. Uh huh. And to keep us from discovering the secret of the building structure that they used to kill Nekomaru. Uh huh. Gotta be so busy. Dun, dun. I think I thought you did with COVID. They used the secret octagon passageway to travel to Grape House. After arriving at Grape Hall, they pressed the button to open the door to the tower. Uh huh. Oh. When that happened, the elevator-like oh. floor of the tower began descending. <laughs> and Nekomaru's body was still inside, dangling upside down in mid-air from the wire. The killer entered Grape Tower to see if their setup was successful. Oh. <laughs> he placed a hammer on the floor to look Rattle. like the weapon, Clonk. then wrapped a chain around the back Quick. door. Rattle. This was done to make us falsely believe we couldn't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall. There's a lot of alcohol. With this, the killer finished their setup and tried to go back to their room using the secret passage. There's a lot of alcohol on this too. So they could crack their alibi when Nekomaru died from the fall. It happens. But something unexpected. Exclamation point. Fuyuhiko, who saw Nekomaru earlier, was still at the lounge. She's the president of a sorority. What a As a result, the killer couldn't return to their room, and with no options available, time ran out. Can you not stay out of sorority? Is all legal. Ring, ring. Ring, 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 ring. The lounge's wall clock alarm started ringing at 5.30. Here you go, it's so distressed. Well, actually, uh, actually 7. Because he said, to shut the, the fuck up, scenario, clock. The killer was forced to appear in front of Fuyuhiko like with the others. I can't feel my face. When the wall clock's alarm rang, that was also the same time Nekomaru was waking up. He woke up while he was COVID. still hanging upside down, so he couldn't help but sway his body powerfully. Then she would have been with you. Originally, the loop of wire was only supposed to slip off the doorknob. I love 
don't know if I ever want to be in this But because there was a heavier load than expected, the doorknob ended up breaking. Uh-huh. Anyway, but all tomorrow fell from the fourth floor all the way to the first floor. No, he went doom. He crashed into the pillar, which decapitated him on impact. And Decapitated him on impact. The Please sound of Nekomaru's impact echoed throughout the funhouse. I can't. However, by this point, the killer's plan what was about to fail. What I don't get is why he Thanks just hung him by his foot and then left Yuhiko. him. Like, that's a lot of banking on him dropping. Meaning, the killer is someone who wouldn't have heard the alarm if they were in the deluxe room. So if he struggled just a little bit, he would slip off. And he made sure he would wake up. They also out. wouldn't have been able to return to the guest room. really ended up struggling and then ended up breaking the up the entire door now. Because I was going to say, if he wasn't decapitated, Monokuma said he could put him back together, which would mean that he'd be able to That's tell his account. I mean, I don't think that he's going to I can't think of not. anyone else but yeah. you. Some of the tests are super inaccurate, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that was splendid for a mere human. You did. You're quite a fucking well. mere human too. Stop, Stop it Stop. already. Stop. Stop it. Stop. 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 Stop it. Stop it. I'll freaking kill you myself. I cannot believe it. I just cannot believe. Poor Sonya. You, you killed Nakumaru. I cannot believe something like that. Oh, honey. You don't wish to forgive me, do you feel regret? Don't be an asshole. Right? So much. Cast your, your impure votes for Gundam Tanaka. I fucking My will. Deadly foes. Let the voting time begin. I fucking will. I'm gonna vote you to die. <laughs> exactly. Kind of the crap on some of these. That's okay. Couldn't exactly make you go get retested and stuff, so it just didn't work out. Unfortunate. We got a B. We got a B! That's passing! We got 97 coins. Our we logic... obviously passed the trial, huh? We did pass. There's B and then there's A and then there's S. This result isn't all that like exciting. Like this is bad. Now it's then, passive. please it's pull the lever in front of you and cast I've, your I've gotten C on them before because they've been really Who difficult. Who will be so. chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What was the little clue? Please pull the lever. Not in the Hago, a hoge. A hoge. I got a really confused one that I was trying to just Google a hoge and I Googled a hago and that was a fun surprise. A hago is the tongue out. Yeah, a I knew hoge that is the hair. I knew that both existed but I accidentally Googled the wrong thing thinking it was the other. And like yeah. I, knew, I knew it was similar to a hago because I know what a hago yeah. is. A hago is like the, mm -hmm. yeah. The oh, okay, is the Belle the Delphine hair face. You go for like shit. Watch movies. You're not the only one to mix them up. Everyone mixes them up. True. Sure. Oh. Uh, it'd be so. Whoa! Whoa, it's so hot. Anyway, um. Okay, it'd be so bad if I bit my tongue again, so I'll speak slowly, judging from the results. Yeah. You guys were correct once again. Getting four in a row without any mistakes is a splendid achievement. <laughs> That's right, the one who killed the robotic Nakamaru in the fa amazing funhouse yeah. was Gundam Sanaka. Nice! Yay, I said all that without biting my tongue. Now then. Now that we've decided who the killer is, let's do the execution already and get this over with. Time unknown. Hold on. It's true the cross trial is finished, but that doesn't yeah. mean the incident is over. The time's weird in the funhouse, so we don't really know. Hmm. We can't finish yet until we hear it from Gundam. Jeez. No matter what he says, it won't change a thing. Well, I have no right to stop you either, so do whatever you like. Fall. Why do you want to talk to the one who has lost? Execution, that's what Destiny wants me to do to her. No, like, so Epic lives in, like, South Carolina or some shit, and I was telling him earlier, like, wait, where is it? 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 Fuck, I think it was around here. Yeah, to achieve your ultimate goal, you must enter the state you most despise, because we're in California, and he fucking hates California. I see. <laughs> he keeps saying he's gonna kill me, and I'm like, then fucking come here, you bitch! Right. 
the loser merely leaves, it would be unnecessary for me to say something. Listen well. Is what I would like to say, but for honor's sake, I shall correct one thing. Correct. Oh. You guys said I made Nekomaru powerless without fighting him. That, however, is a great mistake. Huh? Fine. Nekomaru did fight. That is no mistake. And because he fought, he lost and died. D damn it! Lost and died? This too if he was just trying to cling to life, it. there are many ways he could have done so. However, he did not allow that. You. Well, what do you mean? Explain. <laughs> Fine then, I shall reveal it all. You said you wanted me to kill you, and then that was your response when you said I had to come here. I know, because you keep like, being like, I'm gonna fucking kill you, and I'm like, then fucking come here, bitch! Let's make history. Stop laughing, you epic. I'm supposed to be Cameron. Wait, oh, wait, 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 I didn't get to read that yet. Yeah, I thought you said it, sorry. No. Okay, wait, back. Within the final dead room, I discovered the secret of the fun house, and I devised a killing plan utilizing that secret. By tampering with all the clocks in the building, I succeeded in luring Nekomaru to the tower. And this is what happened. Oh? It's an anime battle! Nekomaru and I were alone in the tower, standing face to face with one another. Hmph. <laughs> I should say I expected as much from Nekomaru. He sensed my subtle killing intent and instantly understood the situation. And we had ourselves a stare down. In that situation, if he wanted to run away, it would have been easy for him to do so. He could have run away, or even called for help. Look, you're the one who wants your life to end. You need to come here. You guys still gotta go to work the next day after I eat your dumb ass. <laughs> <sighs> but he did not turn his back to me. Instead, he chose a fight that risked life and death. That is a fight that risked life and death. He was serious, this. too. He gave it his all to try and kill me. Huh? Huh? <laughs> if I had died instead, the, mirrors, the mystery surrounding the case would have been even more complicated. You would know, never know why I, the victim, went to the tower by myself. I can see Nobody it. would know that the victim, me, was actually the one who planned the whole thing. It it's happened in one of the games, though. One of them's like, oh, I'm gonna kill you, and ends up getting killed instead. The first game, the girl. Yeah, and the in the third game, that happens. Too. Sayori? Um. So, no, what was her name? It was something with an S, I thought. The girl yeah, that is. was trying to kill Leon? I got it, I just cannot think. Sayaka? Sayaka, yeah. Sayaka. Yeah, I know, she was gonna kill Leon. And then Leon was like, fuck yeah. you, and killed her instead. It happens in the third game, too, kind of. Mm. Nakamaru is really did that? Since oh. even my subtle killing intent, as expected of you, Nakamaru. The scorching, stinging, tense oh, atmosphere. Hell yeah. Team, this is great. Fun. What a comforting atmosphere. Hmm. And what is your reason? Do you intend to resolve this situation by killing me? <laughs> I am the warlock, Gundam Tanaka. Heroes, lords of darkness, and even the gods themselves flee from me. I need not bring to any trivial reason. I'm simply going to kill you because your very existence is an annoyance. Man, this one my pants say about me. <laughs> You'll drench your soul with evil until the bitter end, huh? Splendid! In response to your spirit, I shall kill you with all of my might! I won't go easy on you! Don't even think about holding back! Don't waste your breath on cowardly tactics! Give me everything you got! It's such an enemy battle. Nekomaru right. need I. Your blood will drench the foundation of my empire. Isn't that what Monokuma says? So he's like, let's give it everything you got. It's punishment time. <laughs> so right. Yeah. That is. But why? Why did you fight? We are all friends. Why couldn't you stop this? Epic. I feel Even like if both sides agreed. It was still wrong. 
I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. He just said my existence isn't an annoyance. He's right. <laughs> ah, I'm pretty annoying. Nice. <laughs> I will not argue. I have no intention of forcing my values upon you. However, I it's... must say this. What's the point of living if you're just waiting until you finally die? <laughs> An annoyance is mine. <laughs> There's nothing courageous about that. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Oh I think it's fair. This is abandonment, a mere feeling of resignation. Huh. Uh. Wait, are you telling us that we to just wait until we starve to death? It's you. I'd rather have that happen to us. Wait, see now I feel bad saying the second half because you took it so nicely. <laughs> Cause I was like, yeah, that's fair. I wasn't like, hey, fuck you. Then have our friends kill each other. Huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die? I'd rather murder, but you know, that's just me. I have plenty of weapons. Yeah. Fall. Ever since we were locked inside that building, everyone had been dominated by that feeling of abandonment. I always feel like I'm abandoned. However, none is bo nothing is born from resignation. That is simply a reason to give up. See, I'd be so bad in this situation because, like, I feel like I've been abandoned if Max is at home for, like, an hour. Right. So I'm like, if this is, like, weeks at a time, I'd be like, fuck, no one likes me. <laughs> also, this is the man who, willing to choose to watch his who is willing to watch his streams for a year. That's true, Epic. Rich, Giving up die. on life? That is just an insult to life itself. My favorite thing is that the first ever stream that Epic joined, he was gifted a sub within five minutes of being in my stream. That's funny. And then now he has paid for 11 months of his own subscription. So we have tricked Epic into paying $55 of his own money. That's funny. So I'm like, someone else paid $5, and since then Epic has paid $55. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> so just saying, somebody tricked Epic into into continuing to be here, but it was also somebody that we don't talk about anymore, because that all went bad. Oh boy. Let me ask. Have you fools heard the term, dog eat dog? Nope. Um, cannibalism? That used to be like a good show. What was it called? I think that was a show that was literally just called Dog Eat Dog, but it was like a game show. About. Yeah, I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. I used it's to like fucking love thing. that. Yeah, it was on one of those fucking channels. Because I remember I had like Xfinity. It was like yeah. Cartoon Network was 49, Nickelodeon was 50, and Disney was 51. Yeah, it, was it was one like of those. It was like a weird Nickelodeon thing. <coughs> <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm dying. In zoology, cannibalism is commonly <coughs> observed phenomenon. <coughs> I don't know why I'm choking. Drink some wine? Some coke, maybe? I tried. <coughs> I paid for 10 months. I scammed Amazon out of a month. That is fair. So he paid for ten, he paid 50 bucks. So. No. <laughs> Many creatures at some point in their life span engage in cannibalism. <laughs> Listen well. That is what it means to live. What if, what if I just like hella bit the shit out of your finger just now? Wouldn't be the first argue. time. What do you mean would have been the first time? What if I have friend has done that to me before too? Okay, I thought you were saying specifically me. I was like, I've no, never bit you. You wouldn't be the first one to do that. <laughs> Love it. If you say killing is for the sake of living is killing for the sake of living is evil, then what would you call giving up on life instead? Depression. I shall you if a, if a world would consider that justice, then I will fight and fight that world with every last fiber of my being. I can't feel my leg. Scratch me. You got sharp nails. I can't feel shit. Do it. I did. I know, but like not that hard. Do it harder. Dude, I can't feel shit. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. Fingers have more interesting uses than snacks. What? Epic? Giving up on life and choosing death is nothing but a blasphemy toward life. 
It is a you. violation of the natural order. It is the arrogance of humanity. I'm pretty arrogant. You. Uh, are you saying all that just to justify what you did? But. But it sounds like Nekomaru felt the same too. That's why they fought, right? Damn it. Ugh. Fine. That man had the courage to die when he needed to die. That is why he challenged me to our battle. Make it seem appropriate if it's only implied that's fair. <laughs> Regardless, as I've already said, I do not intend to force my values upon you fools. I have betrayed you all. That is the absolute truth. Fall but even so, do not don't you think it's a better alternative to slowly starve to slowly starving to death here? Oh, that belief is why you committed your crime. Dude, we could play tic tac toe. Yeah, go for us. <sighs> I think we're on draw. I think we draw. Yeah, we draw. Because he totally <laughs> didn't like put an X in that dumbass. <laughs> on my leg and we both fucking drew and she calls me a dumbass <laughs> because you totally like gave me the like tie you could have won i'm only very i'm only so cognizant right now okay you hey what about the final dead room did you do the russian roulette too let's make unlike nargi how i only did it once but <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been long to spend. Even, even more so if I had to follow rules for stream appropriate on Snapchat. Dude, Snapchat's so not stream appropriate with you and the epic. We tell each other too much. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to my battle with Nekomaru, that was mere child's play. Well, you know, after listening to you talk for a while, I'm starting to think that. Well, it's also because you unexpectedly admitted your crime without much resistance. Fair. Gundam, didn't you, don't tell me you you didn't sacrifice for ourselves to our sake, did you? <laughs> I can't believe you would ask such a foolish question. <coughs> I mean, too much. I mean, too much is relative. That's fair. My name Just who do you Gundam think I am? Tanaka. I am Gundam Tanaka, history's greatest monster. My cursed existence is feared by all mankind. There is no way I'd sacrifice myself for the sake of you fools. Bane, not like in a million, in not way. in a billion, not in ten thousand billion years. In the name of pandemonium, it is impossible. Is that it? Then I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> now then, let us be rid of this foolish talk. It is about time the fun started. Murder! Monokuma, let us begin. Murder! I don't know I'm murder would be. Yes, indeed. Yay! Got it! I have prepared a special punishment for the ultimate breeder, Gundam Tanaka. Do you think, like, before we all come to the island, he, like, plans out all of these, like, executions, and then, like, from there, he's, like, disappointed if certain ones don't get done? I would assume. Like, because yeah. he's got to have them planned. They can't the, be spur of yeah, the moment. Because in the first game, that, like, when you buy the game for, like, consoles and stuff, it comes with, like, a little thing that tells you what all the executions for the other characters would have been. Yeah, yeah. Like, so it's like he's got to have planned them out. Please, wait. <laughs> Please wait. This this is just too much. I beg of you, please, Monokuma. Please help Gundam. It's implied that I liked over the heavy order. See, Epic, it's great because you and I can tell each other whatever because like we have never met each other in real life, so it like does not matter. It's like we can tell each other. Like True. I told them so much about like my past like relationship. Right. Like, um. And shit like that. So, like, Epic knows so much, but it's like, he's never met me, so, like, it's not relative at all. Right. Huh? <laughs> Sonia! <laughs> I beg of you! I beg of you! <coughs> Sonia! An act as unrefined as stopping a man from going to his death does not befit a noble <coughs> herself. I don't know why I can't fucking read right now. Uh, Gundam! Gundam! Um, is it fine to start for reals, right? Fine. Yes, I do not mind. However, what is it? My what is it? Dark days of destruction. Are you worried about me? Oh, 
I was simply visiting for a moment, and now that my duty is complete, and you won't I must admit it, but he just did it so that way he could let them get out. <coughs> that is why, until the very end. Wait, yeah, or well, you have way more details on my success. I didn't need to know. Like Chastity, having from you, hearing from you, probably knows more. Than literally any of my other friends. I really haven't told Chastity that much of your sex life. Like honestly, no, like I really don't know anything. Like honestly, I don't really tell her that much about your sex life. Don't worry, your secrets are safe with me, Epic. I'm a good secret holder. Chastity knows I'm very, very good at holding secrets. Like I don't, I don't go and just tell that to anybody who will listen. I'm very yeah. good about it. Pride, conceit, courage, insolence. Fearful of nothing. The duffel bag story. I feel like nothing. I told her very little about that. Yeah, I like vaguely know about it, but not <laughs> much. <laughs> I really don't. I don't spill all your secrets, Epic. Don't worry. Let <laughs> us laugh uproariously. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm dying. That I cannot believe. is Gundam Tanaka. I shall <laughs> stick with my evil until the very end. Open Sesame Pandemonium! I shall fill hell with true hell! <laughs> Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! There we go. You wanna watch his execution? Yes, I'm trying to ask Max to bring me my hell. <clears throat> Cause he's got it in his backpack. Oh, okay, a little. Epic, I'm a good friend, I don't spill secrets right away. <coughs> I really don't know why I can't breathe. I don't know why. Oh, there's only three there. He has four. There we go. Oh, there they go. One's so chonky! He left them on a hill so they didn't die. Mm -hmm. I think he. I don't know. I think what I think talking about take care of. <laughs> he wrote them. something. He's making like a um what is it called? The word splitting. Pentagram? No, it's not a pentagram. <laughs> What's the word that was coming to mind to me too though, but there's another word for it. He just got bombed. That was lame. Oh, Bunny and not some dogs, what? Because he's a breeder, Bunny, so it probably yeah. thinks he's bred in the past. So it probably thinks he's bred in the past that are no longer alive. They're carrying him into heaven because mm -hmm. he went up. Yeah. Aw, the hamsters are so sad. I said it was Gundam or Kazuichi. Gundam! No! No! <laughs> For me. For ya. Even after Gundam is gone, the spirit of his parting words still linger deep in our chests. Don't give up on life. Did I misunderstand what he meant? Fuck! That was loud. Then, what's the right thing to do? Wasn't even brutal, brutal that's just said, yeah. So Uncle was destined for hell, but it looks like he didn't come around. <laughs> Fuck, Alex, that's accurate. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go to help with killing someone. It's like, oh no, well, you actually are trying to save everyone, so your good intentions were seen. Also, this dude was already kind of dead. <laughs> I don't know how much I think about it. I don't know if I'll ever be able to answer that. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Alec, here's your tits, McGee, for the day. Here's your tits. You like the tits? I'm so pissed off. I need to throw something. Damn you it. all spent so much time worrying about each other, and thanks to that, things ended up being like this. You're all full of shit, every last one of you. But the biggest sh piece of shit is me. Damn it, why am I so weak? Oh, it's such a downer, clearly. Angry tits is greater than sad tits. 
Wait, right away, JK, JK, that's fair. It's more, I didn't know what details you included when you explained stuff like that. Like the duffel bag story, because as far as my other friends go, it's friends I don't know. If I didn't trust you, Jesse, I wouldn't share them. That's fair, that's fair. Don't worry, Epic, I'm very good at keeping secrets. I won't tell you secrets. But still, even though we feel, feel this way, we still gotta do our very best. You are you right. Are right. This time around, we must move forward. We must continue to live and believe in our friends. If not, you are right. right. Gundam will most likely crawl his way out of hell, and I presume he will be very cross with us. But he went like up when they did that death right. scene. He went know. up. He went to heaven. Right. He didn't I go to know. hell. You're right. <laughs> You're right. We shouldn't just stand here. I mean, it's not like this is over. We still have to do it. We still have to finish this. Let's save our friends who have died. We need to finish this once and for all. So, don't just stand it. Didn't Max come home? Yeah. Max is here, isn't he? Okay. Well, he was, at least. <laughs> stand up and walk. Wait. And Destiny Secrets are safe with me because I literally don't know anyone else who knows who she is to give a shit. No, you got one person added on Snapchat. We just don't talk about him anymore, Epic. Move forward. I see. Live. If you don't, everyone who fought and died will have died in vain. We can't allow that. Hey, hey. So how long are you guys going to stand around chattering? This class trial is over, so it's okay for you to hurry back over to Jabberwock Island. <laughs> However, the killing school trip will proceed as usual, so make sure you know that. Wait! Hold on! How, how much longer are we going? Are you going to keep doing this? Actually, I've, I also have Chastity added to you, lol, but the point is that nobody I actually talked to. Yeah, but Chastity's on, like, Instagram. That's I different. barely use Snapchat. Yeah, Chastity yeah. never uses Snapchat. You have someone else on Snapchat, which would be fucking hilarious if you started hitting him up. Seriously, how long is this... How long is he going to keep doing this? How long is he going to continue? Now then. I'm being so now loud. then. Am I being very loud? A little. It's okay. I'm the loud person. It's okay. <laughs> All right, after feeling down for so long, I finally feel refreshed. Let's hurry back and eat some food. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, food, fuck. I was like, why are you drinking? Hold on a sec. That mood shift is too damn fast. Happy tits? Yeah, happy tits. Her boyfriend's dead, Alec. You got a free game now. It's not like that. Well, you know, it's like Gundam and Nekamaru said. <laughs> That's what it means to live, right? <laughs> She's crying still. <laughs> she certainly is some. She's certainly something else. <laughs> but seriously, I'm starving. You probably wouldn't know who the fuck I is. I was. That'd be fucking funny though. Fuck more food. Hey, hey. Then let's go back for now and eat. They are just so large, Alex says. Yes, they are. That is why her name for us is Tits McGee. And then after we're full. Let's sleep as much as we want. Right? And then, let's do our best again. Yeah, you're right. With this, the class trial has come to an end, and once again, we return to Jabberwock Island. The size of our group has definitely diminished. But despite that, even if it was just the rest of us, we did our best to stay upbeat and have fun together. Of course, our optimi optimism was <coughs> only superficial. Max is cooking. It smells like food. I like one dog, this is how he cooks. Oh yeah, it smells like chicken or something. I don't know, he doesn't have chicken. But at that moment, we were able to forget about the dark despair looming before us. However, the only thing I was worried about was him. He wasn't there. He suddenly disappeared from our sight. Nagiko? I think it was, yeah. <laughs> yep, I'm definitely lucky. I never expected to obtain so many valuable things from a simple game of Russian roulette. <laughs> Thanks to that, I was able to learn the identity of our true enemy. And before everyone else, too. But it's just too funny. I mean, no one could tell that I was lying. There's no way the file had just had Jimmy's information. Yeah, that is what he told us. Yeah. 
Well, I guess they were too busy with other matters, or maybe they breached their limit. Regardless, I was saved. Things would get complicated if they found out. <sighs> anyway, I can't forgive this. Damn it. This should never be forgiven. There's no way I can let this run loose. I'll be the one who stops this once and for all. Even if it costs me my life. It's obvious. For the sake of hope, I cannot ignore this. Hope. Fuck! Oh, yeah, the bomb! All right, Monica has arrived. Who summoned me? Now then. Thanks for coming. What's this? Why, it's the lonely little Nagito. Are you all alone tonight, too? What's the matter? So what's up? Your face looks scary. <sighs> I see, so you can tell. Hmm? Perhaps you found out who the traitor is. <laughs> you know me well. Well. Is what I'd like to say, but unfortunately, I haven't learned that yet. Hmm. I see you, so even though you even you don't even you don't know, huh? Looks like the final showdown is gonna take a little more time. Hello. So why'd you summon me anyway? Were you finally gonna confess your love? Oh. Hey. I summoned you because there's something I really need to ask you. It's about the special prize from the final dead room. The outcome must really be hitting if Destiny's response to drinking is just fuck. <laughs> Epic, I don't think you realize this is the most potent drink I've ever had. Like, Chatsy can contest. There was a lot there of alcohol. There was a lot of alcohol left in that bottle. And so, like, the thing was, I was like, if I just poured, like, a normal drink, that would have been, like, a just, A couple like, shots maybe left in there. Yeah, and I'm like, I didn't want to leave just a couple shots, so I made, like, a way stronger drink than I'm used to. <laughs> So, I've had a lot of alcohol, okay? I'm loud right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? What about? Oh, there was information about 16 people in the file I received. But, isn't that weird? there's only 15 students. Right? No, there's 15 in the first one. There is 16. Say what? That's weird. You don't even well, know? there's a traitor from the Future Foundation hiding among us, right? Among us? Including that person, the total number of students would be 16, right? But there's only 15. Isn't, Isn't that right? This file contains documents that were created at Hope Speak Academy, right? Of course! That's right. That's right. I just reused that stuff from the former headmaster that the former headmaster spent a lot of time making. I wish Alec knew how to spell because he just wrote Thrist. about the traitor. Was that person also a former student of Hope Speak Academy? Who knows? <laughs> I wonder. I wasn't listening. Alex says, Alec, to recap, what I said to Chastity was, I wish Alec knew how to spell because he just wrote thrist instead of thirst. Just so you could recap and so that you could hear me calling you out on main with ASMR. Hey. Could it be... <laughs> Is this your doing? Did you slip false information into this file? Were you trying to keep us from learning the traitor's identity by obtaining this information? <laughs> What's wrong with that? If it's my job to heat things up, it's okay if I do something small like that, right? Chastity, I've not had, I've had so much alcohol. Okay, maybe you shouldn't drink any more then. Do you want some water? I or maybe just the Sprite that you have. Drink some of that. I gotta finish it. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Feel it. Okay. It feels like it's like there. It's not bad. Mm. Well. That's not my point. Right? My point is, you already know who the traitor is. Hmm? What's wrong with that? You're getting well, well, You're well splendidly done. correct when you say, I know who the traitor was all along. But even though I know who it is, why do you think I ignored it on purpose? Hmm. It's just like Monami, after losing her magic stick, the traitor's existence means absolutely nothing to me. Alec just said he's going to stick to his iced tea and mental clarity as if I wish to have mental clarity. Right? Does he not realize I don't want any mental Who clarity? Who needs mental clarity when there's vodka? <laughs> exactly! Epic's got it! Epic has the understanding! <laughs> I have lots of vodka! <laughs> hey! That was loud. Their existence means nothing. 
Destiny 2, which is such a painful game. <laughs> That's not entirely true. I didn't really, I wasn't done doing that. I didn't really come I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I, got it, I, got I didn't it. really come here to fight or anything like that. Instead, I came here to offer my cooperation, you know? I don't know, please explain. Huh? Cooperation? Hey, hey. Your purpose is to fill everyone on this island with despair, right? Okay. That's why you're intentionally letting the traitor do as they please, right? Epic's all in with the vodka with us. We like our vodka. Oh, yeah. Yep. 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 Where the fuck is Max? I asked him to bring him my inhaler. I... If that's the case, I might be able to cooperate somewhat too. Right. However, in exchange, I want to know who the traitor is. Hmm. I see. Interesting. Very interesting. Alec, it's a lot of fucking letters. No, no, no. Let's mash on. Obviously, that's a big no, no. Fucking not the sounds Russian. I don't think that's a, I don't think that's a word. Sounds like Russian. And be. I mean, who would want to make everyone in your group feel despair? That includes you too. Well, well, I knew you would say that. Hmm. Besides, I just wouldn't be able to handle the sadness when you inevitably betray me later on. Don't think about it too much. I was thinking about it a lot. I googled it. <laughs> just as I thought, you saw right through me. You're right. No matter what situation I find myself in, my core way of thinking will never change. In order to create absolute hope that shines brightly, step water such as myself and despair exists. Can you turn it off, Otto? <laughs> That's two. I'm working on it. <laughs> Made it up with Russian sounding letters. How dare you! <laughs> You're right. As a true believer of hope, after all. You're not a true believer of hope, after all. I must say, that belief reminds me of that person for some reason. Huh? It reminds you. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, but if someone as worthless as me reminds you of some other person, it must be extremely unlucky. Epic, I don't like that. It's almost like it reminds you of the other lucky student from the first game who is also the ultimate hoe. I can't think about it right now. Nayagi. The main character you play as is the ultimate lucky student and who also the ultimate hoe. Ho? Yeah, he's also the ultimate hoe. A hoe. Okay, I liked it a whole. I was like, no! no. I'm like, he likes, like, two girls. It's not me, you know. I'm like, he likes, um, Sayaka, Sayaka and Kyoko. And Kyoko. I'm yeah. like, that wasn't me, no. You meant to no. have crushes. I'm like, how are you going no, to know? Okay, I thought you were saying ho, and I'm like, that's very mean to my homie. Lie. But you're just as unlucky, right? I mean, the fact that you're even involved in something like this. Wow. Am I? I actually think I'm very lucky. Well, you are the ultimate lucky student, so I hope you think you're pretty lucky. Say what? Huh? You don't know? When you say that coming across this much despair is a rather rare opportunity? Uh, <laughs> I'm almost done with this. I'm almost done with this! I can't rely on anyone on this island. That's why I have to be the one who does it. If I can eliminate despair from this island, I won't be a stepladder anymore. <laughs> I'll become true hope. <laughs> I'll become an existence that could even be called the ultimate hope. <laughs> I'm swallowing. <laughs> the two of you are alike. You definitely remind me of him. Hey, 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 there's one more thing I want to ask you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. See? Who are you waiting for on this island? Yeah. Huh? So I missed the terms of this game. Alec, basically the idea is that everyone's an ultimate of something, 
and that they were all yeah, going to a school. they're all the best at their talent. Yeah, they were all going to the school called Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah. And like 16 of them got kidnapped and, and they, brought over to an island, except for one says to be a traitor. Yeah, they're on and this island now, and so like the idea is they can get off the island if they get if they kill somebody and get away with it. Yeah. So if they get caught and they're after the, the class trial game. and everything, then they get killed. The drinking game is that if oh. Nagito mentions Hope and Disney, you want to say yeah. the drinking game again? Kill. You have it. Yeah. Chastity has the drinking game. It's gotten less and less because a lot of characters have died. Every time Nagito says either the words hope or despair, because he says them a lot, like they all say it, but he says it. Um, every time Kazuichi flirts with Sonya, every time Chiaki gets sleepy, every time someone breaks the fourth wall, every time Kazuichi's wrong about something, and every time Akane talks about food. There was more of them before, but we've taken them off as the characters have died, the ones that like pertain to them. So like there was one like every time Nikon apologizes for something or asks for forgiveness, because she said a lot of that in her trial. But we've taken those off as the characters have died, yeah. So it's really j the main one right now that we're drinking for is every time Nagito says hope or despair, because he says it a lot. Akane is food, I'm guessing, yeah. Ak every time Akane talks about food. And every time Chiaki gets sleepy, because she gets sleepy a lot. And then they break the fourth wall occasionally, so when that happens, and then Kazuichi flirts with Sonya a lot, so that was one of them. Uh, what was the other one? And every time Kazuichi's wrong about something, because he's kind of a himbo. Yeah. These are just ones that I found online when I was kind of looking for ideas for this specific Danganronpa game. I just picked out some of my favorite ones because there was a lot more than what I picked, but I wanted to try to keep it simple enough to where we could remember which ones we were supposed to drink on. So I picked ones that I personally remember from when I played through the game. Bimbo, yeah, it's like a bimbo, but a dude. Himbo is Max. Uh, moving on. Because <laughs> I called Kazuichi a himbo. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm right again. Yeah. We're definitely waiting for someone on this island. Is the person you're waiting for already on this island? Wait, yeah, the only one I could ever really remember was the hope and despair. Yeah, that one's the one that we remember the most, but that Nagito one's easy. lives through most of this game, so. Hey, hey. Well, answer my question. Most of this game. Nagito dies. That, if that's the case, that, whoa! I wasn't ready. That person is already on this island. <laughs> Wouldn't that be exciting? What if the traitor got murdered like round one? You never know. <laughs> is that the end of this? Please! Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna have an official timer now rather than just cycling. Now you're about to get fucking clapped because the game doesn't have much left. It's fair. Usually, like five people live. Well, the last time five people lived, and this or six people lived or something, I think. This one, the this number of survivors gets lower and lower. The games as the games go by. This one has five survivors. The first game had five survivors. The first game had more. I think it had six. The last game has three. Hmm. Oh, yeah, present. Hellhound earring. Ah. Love it. My hellhound earring is falling between the oh, floorboards, and now yeah, it's gone. And we had to I go saw someone make a meme yeah. with him about, you know, the whole Kim Kardashian. I lost my diamond earring in the ocean, and yeah. now it's gone. I saw someone make a meme with that with Gundam. It's fucking accurate. <laughs> Okay, wait, should we and be done now? And then, you know, it's just like, Gundam, there's people that are dying. <laughs> so I we're literally in the middle it. of a fucking trial and Gundam's like, my earring! <laughs> I love it. Okay, I think should we be done?
gun difference. Yeah, probably. Wait, how do I? Oh, that boy. Okay, fuck. Um. Okay, I am stream. Um. Wait, wait. Yeah, so five survivors with seven left right now. Doggy Toe doesn't live the whole time. He's either about to get clapped or be the clapping. <laughs> Hey, Dang. I can tell he either gets killed or is the killer. There you go. At this next trial. Spoiler alert. So either way, he's gonna die. Yeah, Fuck he's dying. Yeah, he's dying I love next it. Trial. Fuck yeah, I want Nagi to die. Okay, um, I will maybe be live tomorrow, but for tonight, we probably end. Yeah, Where's I my think that's a good stop stopping point. And then we can just do the last, thing, um, the last trial. There's gonna be a lot to that because it's just like at the very end of the first game there was like a lot of explanation about like what the fuck's going yeah, on yeah about like the whole there's situation there's a in lot the in this game but then the third one's the worst because it okay. really sums everything together because this one ties it to the first game I the see. third one ties all of them together and the anime i see I and see. ultra despair girls i see i see okay okay she said i feel like he's the victim i hope he fucking gets murdered he deserves it he's a bitch ass <laughs> okay um, I may be live again tomorrow. Um, that's a pretty good stream, though. So, um, yeah. Good night, everyone. That was a fun one. I got Hi. drunk as fuck. This is drunker than I normally am. Good night, all. Where's my mouse?